I see. I knew you would be tired. You'd <laughs> have a little insomnia. <sighs> you want to start a minute early? <laughs> no, no. Keep yeah. keep the awkward silence, Craig. Okay. Let's just let's Skits. embrace it. Let's embrace it. <laughs> just just stay cuddling. The, just stay in the awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. No, keep it going! Oh, that's what that was. I've got one for Mike as well. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. I know I had to play the, the old song on the guitar, but I can't. No yeah. one, no one's done the new one. No, yet. No. Right, you're ready for the intro, then, Greg? I suppose so. There we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all are listening to the Overseas Connection podcast. Shut up and sit down. Here we go. Would you come? I think we're just getting started. Medic! I'm a witcher. I think this is more than you can handle. He sits on his ass all day. Let's do this. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to episode 468. This is your Overseas Connection, and today it is March 31st, 2018, uh, the day before April 1st, the day before Easter, the day before joking. It's kind of craziness. Uh, I don't know if I should be being nice and peaceful and, and somewhat religious or vindictive and mean and playing practical jokes. But anyway, I digress. Uh, hey, my name is Craig DeLacy, uh, Murphy's Law on uh, Xbox Live, OC underscore Murphy's Law on Twitter, and I am one of your hosts today on the Overseas Connection podcast. This is a video game podcast with uh, slightly older participants, um, nobody under 18. Yes, Mike, you are over 18 at this point. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we have an interesting cast. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, the newest member of our, our podcast team, uh, just joining us for the first time today, Mr. Mike Chin. Yeah, hello. Hi, Mike. Uh, hello. You're on the podcast. I, I, I'm alive. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Are you okay, Mike? I'm a bit nervous, Greg. It's okay, Mike. It's okay. <gasps> oh, oh. I, um, <laughs> I'm from England, Greg. That's good. That's I a good start. Video. Sorry to cut you off. Okay, no, it's okay. I like okay. video get Sorry to cut you off. <laughs> uh, Mike Chin like from video the... games. I'm so Mike. sorry, Greg. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's really Let's... My, my debut. <laughs> Your debut, inaugural debut. You've committed now to uh, stay with us uh, yeah. moving forward. Hello. You're going to be dedicated to this podcast. Yes, I am never going to miss a show right. from now on. Un- unless, you unless, change, unless you unless think about rescheduling. <laughs> but that would never happen, would it? That would never yeah, happen. You know, I have made a commitment. As long as you keep going on Saturday, Greg, I'm going to be here. That is fantastic news, Mike. Thank no you problem. so much. You uh, are with also, you, Also, hey, right there. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that, though. We'll, we'll talk about scheduling, Mike. We'll talk okay. about that and, and your commitment, uh, all of that. Uh, also on the podcast today, Miss Kim Woods. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, hi. Yep. <laughs> this is off to a great start. Who's going to break it? Like, howdy, 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 howdy. No, no, she just went, yep. Yeah. And, yeah. Yep. Kim, mm-hmm. thanks for joining the show today. Sure, anytime. We'll, we'll get you to talk a little bit more. Uh, in, well, yeah, in, you know, I didn't think we were at story time yet, so I. Didn't. We are not. We're not at story time yet. No. We're approaching quickly. Exactly. Uh, we we can't start story time without introducing the last person on the podcast. Uh, here by uh, absolute. I don't know what Mike's pointing to. I'm pointing I'm to Mark's head. To ah, gotcha. On it's like street. a Brady Bunch thing. Oh, yeah. Here's oh, the story. He's, he's, he's down yep. there. Let me just spit on his head. Look at his <laughs> head. He just goes on him. Hang on one sec. No, no, he's fine. Mark Wright on the podcast. Spinning the discs in the background for us. Mark. Yes. How Hello, you doing? Greg. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm doing very well. Thank you. I'm, uh, no headache, no migraine. 
Um, I, I woke up with one again this morning, but it it was more of a thing. I always had a, a, a funny headache after, the day after a migraine, but uh, it's cleared up now. I'm fine now. Yeah, great, good. I, fa- I passed yeah. it on to Nicole. <laughs> Ballas. <Ballers. laughs> all right, well, let's move on to topics we care about. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, uh, <laughs> let's dive into it. Story time. Let's talk. Whoa, 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 Greg. What? Back up. I know it's you've my been show. Off for, I know you've been off for two I... weeks, but you've forgotten what? the new Twitch followers. <sighs> the new Twitch follower <laughs> is Bobbins. Yep. Thanks for following us, Bobbins. And yes. We, and we've got a uh, I suppose. I suppose I should do all of the other bits and bobs too. <laughs> So, hey, if you're listening to this uh, for, for tonight and tonight only, we are on at 3 p.m. on the West Coast, 6 p.m. on the East Coast, and 11 p.m. in the U.K. on Saturdays for today and today only. Uh, because Mike Chin has decided to join the podcast, unless we should change our date, uh, we are officially going to change our date. What, uh, what, we, what? what was yeah, this? So, starting next week, uh, we are going to move the podcast to Sundays – Greg, what the fuck? <laughs> Sundays, 9 p.m. on the UK. Greg? Uh, Mike, I'm sorry, Mike. I, I, I rang you this week and said, look, Greg, I'm going to be on every Saturday. I'm sorry. Oh, God. It's like school again. No. Uh, and, and I said to you, I'm going to be there every Saturday for you because I've let you down. And I used to be on this show and I felt like a part of me was missing in there. And now you tell me this, Greg. What can I say, Mike? What can I say? I don't know where that's from, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Never had penis in my mouth, and that's what I said to the judge. Amsterdam is calling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're rescheduling, Greg? Yeah, no, so we are. Um, you know, mm, okay. originally... Uh, in, in fairness, Mike, th- we actually had not gone to Sundays because I was being trying to be considerate of you. Um, no, but just says, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it was the finger for most of the year. So at this point, we're going to move to Sundays. It just works better for everybody's schedule. Um, mine, most of all, which is really the most important schedule. Let's face it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. No, it's just it makes it easier. We can have a full Saturday to do family stuff. Uh, well, as long Mike. as we're not on the same time, Greg. <laughs> so what time are you going to start the show? <laughs> that could be problematic. That right. might be. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. I know Stu started this fucking rivalry, Greg. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you ain't Stu's helping. Because <laughs> you, know, you know what's going to happen there, Greg. He's going to have a fucking field day with this shit. And go, I'm going to have to li- listen to this. Every week, right, for the next, like, six months. Wow. If you want to go to the you, guys you know? used to record. You used to record on Mondays back in the yeah. 035 days, and then you yeah. moved. That was, so... that was eight years ago. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm just saying. I remembered it. I remembered yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah. but in, in all fairness, yeah, Sunday. I don't know how you've done it for so long on a Saturday night, uh, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, Sundays. So the best part was, I think last uh, two weeks ago, uh, it was being brought up, uh, and and you guys were talking about the time zone changes and how yeah. it was nice recording a little bit earlier. Doing early, yeah. and, and you guys were like, you know, we we always record at this time, and maybe we can start recording it a little bit early or a different day. And and I started thinking to myself, why the fuck do we record on Saturdays? <laughs> why do we oh, record on Saturdays? Right? If you recall, Greg, we used to, we when you changed from Tuesdays when you kicked Mike out. And right. We went to Fridays. <laughs> Mike left. Yeah. Mike was doing yeah. his thing, and he's like, I can't commit to Tuesdays anymore because I'm a big boy. I've got a job. Well, we, we Whatever. Went to Fridays. Uh, <laughs> but what you didn't tell everybody was that that was during your working day. So you were podcasting while working. And then you thought, I better cover all bases here and move it to Saturday. Yeah, I, I thought I could swing the Friday thing. <laughs> and, and then it just so happens work got really busy. Yeah. So. That became less of an option. So, uh, you know, again. And now you're hooked on margaritas and daiquiris for Saturday afternoon. So it's now gone to Sundays. Well, it's not so much the – because I can – let's face it. I can drink any day of the week. That's really (laughs) not a problem. Um, What what really it is is that Saturdays there's an opportunity to go out and do stuff and drink 
even you know yard work, whatever. But Sundays pretty much are the winding down day. It's you're dealing with your hangover. You maybe watch a little football on the television, and then you're you, you know you're you're tuning into The Walking Dead or something. So that's pretty much Sunday. So that uh, that pretty much sums up why we're going to move to Sundays. Yeah. No, I think in in all seriousness, Craig. I uh, I don't really give a fuck to be honest, uh, and uh, yeah, I I would rather the show continue than it not. And if it's Sunday against one of the most popular broadcast podcasts at the time, the Veteran Games Wave podcast. Boss Wave on Sundays? What? No, no, <laughs> Boss Wave. No, no. Uh, nope. Yep, uh, no. You're doing a, You're doing a joke. <laughs> I see. Uh, it's a it's a Games funny, Games funny. Sunday? Sundays. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you are. No, it's entertainers, isn't it? You get, yeah. you do, you're still yeah. doing it. You know, mm-hmm. like we know what the joke is. You just go in with it. You know, um, best part, I think we're and... going to start at eight fifty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we're going to start at eight fifty-six. And no, it means we won't I, be and, hosting you anymore. <laughs> what's going to be interesting is we're going to find out who the real fans are. Mm. It's true. Uh, it's true. Or, they're just going to use a multi twitch and just watch us both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's, we'll that's a good point, actually. Like dual streaming. We have a lot of shared, shared followers, don't we? Like Soul Brother and Baron Von Glow. And that. So, yeah, it's going to be. Uh, mm. it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. yeah, some of who are in the, in the chat now. Right, Maybe no, I yeah. should yeah. shout them out. Yeah. Martin, RG, RCGC, Wagwan. Baron Van Glower, you know which side you should go for. Uh, Mark Annex, whoever that is. And uh, yeah, so hello to the to the seven people on the Twitch stream. I don't know, Emily's on YouTube there, Mark. Is any on YouTube? Um, let me have a quick look. What about that popular streaming service Mixer uh, that everybody <laughs> keeps, Zero. keeps banging seven on about? Seven all, uh, all on Twitch. Oh, I'll all. tell you what, Greg. The amount of times I walk down the street and people go, that Mixer. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> God. It's everywhere. Uh, hey, I can't. Don't, don't the mix is really it. good. No, oh, it's yeah. good. Oh, I know it's good. I know it's All good. Right. But I was, I was, I was um, talking to a chap, and he's into PUBG and everything. And he was like, "Oh yeah, you got to get on Mixer if you want to stream." And I went, "Okay, right. Good luck with that. All right. <laughs> I wish you the best, my friend." Um, didn't work out for him. And, right. Uh, yeah. But anyway, it doesn't really work out for most streamers. Most streamers don't make a lot of money, contrary to no. popular belief. No, if you're in it for money, then you're going to be very, very poor. Right. Uh, There's a few that actually make a decent living. The vast majority, especially game Twitch streamers, they don't. We can't all be like Duke and uh, just right. make. Because you know, I know Duke's like all this like hippie stuff, and he pretends that he buys his charity clothes, but really, he's minted, absolutely minted. And any chance he gets, he just, sho- he just shows off his money any chance he can get, and it's just really annoying. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just not that kind of guy, really. I'm, I'm humble, you know. Yes, you're totally humble. Mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm. indeed. Uh, all right, so, officially, official, official, like, like no backsies, no takey backs. That's that's what's happening. So next week, folks, if you are listening to this now, whether it be live and or if you're listening to the audio, if you want to tune in to the show, it will be on Sunday at – I got to do the math now. Well, actually, just 9, 9 p.m. UK. We're actually going to make the UK a priority, yes. by the way. So it will always start, regardless of time zone changes, at 9 p.m. in the UK – and uh, then it will adjust for the rest of the world. So if you live in Guam, uh, good luck. Actually, if you live in Guam, good luck, period. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, anyway, so that's a little bit of the... Uh... There's a guy listening in Guam going, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. Have we any birthdays uh, this week, Greg? I'm sorry? <laughs> Have we any birthdays, birthdays this week? I think we do. We have actually uh, one birthday coming up. It's Brian Hamilton, Rain God Zippo. I've met Brian in the flesh. I thought we might have a birthday song. Oh, Apparently, sorry, I'm. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice. Very nice. <laughs> Happy birthday, Brian. Uh, and, uh, hey, look, uh, you can follow us on twitch.tv forward slash OC podcast on mixer.com OC podcast, because Mike, that is a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also are on the YouTubes, 
But that's uh, youtube.com forward slash Overseas Connection Podcast because we couldn't do OC Podcast for some reason. No. I don't know why. No, we'll hmm. Couldn't be bothered. Bastards. Fuck them. Uh, and, of course, you can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Stitcher. Um, I think we need to try for iHeartRadio. I heard they're yeah. taking podcasts. We're also on that <laughs> thing now what Alexa uses, whatever that is. What was it? Robin asked me to put it on on us. Keep asking him, are we oh, on there yet? Hold and on. he went, don't know, I've never checked. I, uh, uh, anybody? No, we're tune yeah. in radio. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Okay. Right. Tune in radio. Gotcha. Mm. Alexa, shut the TV off. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome, whoever that just turned your TV off. Uh, <laughs> Alexa, all right. read all private emails. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Mike, uh, I think it's time we transition out of the, the fun stuff, and Mark is going to play a little jingle right now. So, Mike, hey, uh, being our guest because Hello. you are—I mean, you're. You, see, this is the tough part, Mike. You're like old school podcast, OC podcast. You were with us from the back of the day, Christopher Matthews, yep. Rich, the whole nine yards, and then you left us. So now you're a guest, but well, that means you get to go you first. Changed, you changed it to Fridays. I'm not. It's, it's semantics. You know, we're friends. <laughs> but. Right, right. I know. I know. You're, you're going to bring this up when we see one another, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. We're going to meet this year, Greg, in the flesh. I know. Yes. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm very much – I'm excited to meet Tara. For, for, yeah. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Uh, no, th- 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 yeah, I, I suppose – do we talk about life or stories and stuff? Is yeah. That what we're doing yeah. This is, this so is like, life. So for people that don't know, I'm getting married this year to the, to the beautiful Tahara – and uh, we we take you know we we rushed into it. We've only been together fourteen years, and we've decided to um to just go for it, you know. And uh, I managed to convince her to meet Greg on my honeymoon, uh, which is very nice. But she's great, so we, we're doing the Route One thing, and Greg's been helping out. And so so this year we're we're gonna go over to. Sam Brown says Scott and uh, and meet Greg and, and his lovely wife and his uh, lovely son and uh, yeah we're looking forward to it and uh, we can't wait I, I'm absolutely um, buzzing about it I just yeah I'm really I, I I cannot wait for it Greg to meet you just to yeah. give you a good old big manly hug just making I'm sure gonna, that the penises gonna, don't I'm touch gonna, I'm gonna kiss you for the record. yeah no that's fine yeah. no I've okay. been kissed by a man many times not um, on the lips but yeah. Uh, yeah, right. so so that's that's what you know, and and I suppose that's like a big thing. Getting get people say getting married is quite stressful, but I, I don't find it too difficult yet. But it's it's all right. I don't know. It, you know, it's just money. That's the thing. Right. People go, you get married, and they and little dollar signs just come up in their eyes like this, and they go, good. And we'll add zeros onto the amount, and uh, it is very expensive to get married. But you, you know, you don't have to do all the mad stuff. You know, right. it's, it's, well, and and but oftentimes, you know, you talk about marriage, and you're like, oh, you know, you're going to be able to save money because you're going to be living together. But you guys are kind of already doing that. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, we're we're doing all that. I, I I suppose what I didn't realize about getting married is, is how happy it makes everybody else. But if it right. makes everybody else so happy, then they should pay for it, really, shouldn't they? Right. You know, uh, but they're not. Don't worry, they're not. Oh. Uh, but no, it's good. It's good. And we, we, you know, venues sorted, suits are sorted, stag do sorted. Uh, honeymoon's getting there, pretty much, pretty much there. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Flowers, flowers. You know, flowers so, are expensive, man. So they expensive. expensive. So expensive. Um, you know, it's 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 good. It's good. It's just. Got to crack on, really, and 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 get it done. Yeah, it's about time. Mike, really, I, okay. I, I I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm going mm-hmm. to see. I actually was the one that announced your engagement. Mm-hmm. I think a year and a half beforehand, but <laughs> probably about three years beforehand. <laughs> I think you did. No, you did announce it, and and everybody believed you at one point. I, yeah. <laughs> I did my best. I was really, you know, look. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, you knew it was going to happen. Yeah, so. So yeah, why not no. just do it? Come on. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah. No, it's it's fine. Uh, um, going off marriage because you know after a while it gets a bit. Yeah, marriage. I have watched a movie tonight, Greg, that I would like to discuss. And you know, okay. I'm I'm pretty hip and happening, and I always keep up with the, you know, what's 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 cool and new. So I watched the first Avengers film. Uh, finally, 
And That's good. Uh, I don't Apparently. like super. My stance on superhero movies, I think they're a bit dumb, if I'm honest. Right? I think people assume that I like them because you know, you know I'm a bit of a nerd. I like video games and stuff. Question uh, though: which, yes. which which movies had you seen beforehand? What, what uh, superhero I've, I've, movies? I've watched Captain America, Thor, uh, okay. Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, and uh, Deadpool. And uh, there it is. It's on the screen. Well done, Mark. And yes. uh, yeah, how do you do that, Mark? That's amazing <laughs> that you got what I'm talking about on the screen. It's brilliant. I'm, I'm just a, a massive fan of Duke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I, I watched the first Avengers, and and you know, I I don't I, I don't really like superheroes. I feel like they're they're a bit sort of played out, really. But because they're so massive now, I feel like I want to sort of get through them. Uh, and that's how I did Lord of the Rings, to be honest. I, I wasn't into Lord of the Rings when it came out, and then I everybody keeps on referencing it and everything, and you don't get the joke. You feel like you're out. Out, out the band kind of thing so uh yeah i watched it and the only thing i really i, I thought it was all right i thought i thought captain america was crap the first one i thought the thor right. was boring i didn't i didn't hate guardians of the galaxy sorry kim i didn't hate guardians of the galaxy but i didn't think it was because people hyped it up a lot saying oh right right right, right. right. And i'm like mm-hmm. it was all right it was fine like it wasn't like the best movie i've ever seen deadpool was by far the best movie I'd seen that year, I think, rather than any superhero movie because it's funny. It is a superhero uh, movie, for the record. Have you seen yeah, the, no, have it you is. Seen but the like, trailer for the new one. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've seen the so. the new one. Yeah, Terry Crews in it, and Terry Crews can't do anything wrong <laughs> in my eyes. No. Uh, and 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 I was a bit like Avengers, and even when I said it to Tyrus, let's, I need to watch the Avengers, and she was like, okay, you know, like we were both like, Bleh. and and I I liked it. I thought it was all right. Um, but I really like the special effects more than anything, to be honest. Yeah. I think that's my favourite thing about it. Uh, you know, it's not... I don't really like all the... Because every time somebody meets, they just fight in, in the Avengers. Like, they're just like, right. oh, I'm Thor. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Captain America. Let's fight. And you're like, now, okay. Okay, so so real quickly. One, that's the perfect back-of-the-box quote from Mike Chen, veteran gamers. Yeah. <laughs> the Avengers, I liked it. It was quite all right. It was all right. Bam. That was, was all right. right. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Thor Ragnarok? No, I'm, I'm trying to. There's okay. a list online of okay. like the order to watch them. Right. Now um, that you've seen that. the Avengers, I think you need to see Thor Ragnarok. Well, Thor Ragnarok is like well, way no, ahead. I need to see the ahead. second Avengers film. I need to well, see. Because you'll understand why Hulk is a. Is, is not. Mm. Is that, yeah, but I mean. Yeah, it's all dumb anyway mark isn't it you know what I mean? it's like a big green monster on some planet but like the i think i can follow it mark you know what i mean i think it's i don't think it's tough narrative but the yeah, there's there's an order isn't there so there's iron Man yeah. three and then there's uh what's after that oh uh, thor two and then there's the next avengers and then there's like ant-man and da, da, da. so I'm, I'm trying to watch them in some sort of order but I honest. didn't find Thor 2 all that good. That's why I was saying just skip to Ragnarok. Because yeah, Ragnarok the third one's good. good. There's a lot of humour yeah. in the third one. Yeah. yeah, and he cuts his hair. And yes. he is to die for. <laughs> I have to say. Oh, no, yeah. you oh. compare similar to him. So. Oh, That's all we That's hear all day long, it. Mike, in the uh, WhatsApp chats from Kim. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, for yeah, this yeah. and for oh. all that. That's Ooh. it. Yep. You know I what I'm saying? Thor. And, and, and I wouldn't chuck Mr. Evans out of bed, eh? <laughs> um, but if, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's good. It was all right. It was better than I thought it would be, the Avengers. Mm. But I, I've watched more videos about the special effects of the Avengers than, okay. than, than, even before I watched it because I was just fascinated with the how they did it. Um, uh, you know, I find that, in, that the special effects really interesting. So, I don't know. It was, it was all right. It was an all right movie. But apart from that, life-wise, I don't really have... Much going on. The bath was leaking. Sorted that. Called a man. Didn't fix it. Uh, uh, oh, my brother is a new listener to this show, by the way. Oh, to this show ah. as well as yours. Oh, to nice. this show. Because my brother... Welcome, uh, Ginger Balls. Yeah, my brother is is uh, is listen, started listening to the veteran games. He, he listened a few years ago, but he sort of... My brother bounces from fad to fad. You never know what he's going nice. to be doing next. And uh, and he even I know that I've angered him just saying that he's like no I'm not but trust me you're not. <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, you know and 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 but he's he's really sort of uh, started listening to the show getting engaged with the show he started doing quizzes and stuff and he listens to the RC's connection as well so you Excellent. know yeah and um, he probably listens uh, to us to escape you so he doesn't yeah. have to hear you and he loves Mark and he Surprise. loves Kim and 
he loves Mark, he loves Kim, he loves Nicole, and he loves... Well, he, and you're there, Greg, as well, so that's nice. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm joking. No, he, he likes yeah. it. He likes it. He likes it. Yeah. It's good. So, you know, just, just know that you're talking to another, to another chin out there. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. I am more than okay with that. Uh, oh, and the other thing I've got going on in my life. To the, show. the other thing I've got going on in my life is... Uh, uh, this really what? wasn't supposed to be an all-about-mic segment. <laughs> well, <laughs> Greg, hey, Greg, I'm on, and I'll probably <laughs> never fucking go on again, this show, because your schedule right. changed. Right, so this just, this is like an end of an era, Greg. Right? I think we need to have taps some taps music. You know, the twenty one gun salute for Mike. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but my neighbour said to me, "Hey, have you bought an organ?" <laughs> this is true. All right? Have you bought an organ? What kind of organ? I don't. She says, I, I'm, "I'm hearing funny sounds from your house." Right? Have you bought an organ, Kim? Don't you laugh at that? Sorry. Right, and and I've been, have you bought an organ? And I said no, I haven't bought an organ. It's Tara. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I haven't told you right. what it is yet. Kim, don't no, you just, stop I thinking. Just I know going what's in your head. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she I bought her a saxophone for Christmas. You see, an alto saxophone. And right. uh, that's it. Oh, she's in the room. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear her playing. Oh, she stopped very suddenly. Oh, you... can she play it again? I'm not sure. Can you, Tara? Can you? There she is. Knows... Yeah, yeah. She only knows the a, a part of a Eurovision song from Sweden. Uh, but yes, yeah, so she started playing that, and uh, and uh, I'm very. She put it this way: I'm very aware of when she practices. <laughs> <laughs> but she's been getting lessons and everything. I'm really proud of her. She's been getting lessons and right. she's getting better. She's she's getting better. She's been sticking to it. I'm I'm impressed because that thing wasn't cheap. So I was yeah. like, if you don't learn, I'm gonna learn it. So yeah, no, it's really good. Um, but that's about it, really. So that's 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 my up to date, uh, Greg uh, and Kim. That's all right. That's all I need to say. Good night. <laughs> well. Since Mike took up time of the entire segment, uh, we do need to oh, move on. So whatever is going special. on with you two, I'm sorry. Do uh, in a sentence, Tim. It. Have you got a thing? It's no, that's all. Okay, Snow. Mark. Snow. Wait, no, hold on. Back Water it up. Can... Move on. Hold on, boom. Kim, let's talk about the snow. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to snow here tomorrow. I'm not happy about it. It's spring, goddammit. There should be no yeah. snow. It's <laughs> snow here as well on Monday. Yeah, Monday, yeah, the fuck of snow. Yeah, uh, you, you want to hear something? You want to hear something? Yeah, there you go. Baking hot. 80 degrees outside right now. Fuck you! <laughs> you know, Greg, when I'm there, I'll be like, Yo, 80 degrees, motherfucker! You know, I'll be doing it with you. But, um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know. yeah, snowing 31 degrees tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, and I just <laughs> shut my heat off. So, you know, i got to turn that shit back on. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Snow. No. It's never fun. Uh, Mark, anything you want to discuss? No, just four day weekend. Woo-hoo. But um, you've got some very important <laughs> news about one of our colleagues, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so not only are we apparently losing Mike uh, after his triumphant return, uh, gone from the show, uh, we are really saddened to uh, also say that uh, one of our our brethren, Canadian I'll friends. Take the camera off, Mike. <laughs> Our Canadian, uh, you know, the, the man with the mostest, uh, he has fallen. He, uh, not really. He just doesn't want to be on the podcast anymore because life is getting in the way. Uh, he's dedicated his life to PUBG and nothing else but. Uh, and he is so serious about PUBG that he doesn't want to even chat about it anymore. He can't take the outside distractions. So Fraser Morris has literally cut himself off from society so he can focus on PUBG. And so today. Don't mark, you'll make me cry. <laughs> Quite camp tonight, aren't I, Kim? Don't you think? <laughs> uh, what, is he really quit? Yeah. He really well, quit? He's, he's, he's taking a everything. <laughs> everything. Has he? Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, he's basically said, look, I, I have too much work going on right now. 
Mm. Nothing against everybody. I love all the different chat rooms. Everybody's great. It, it, I was actually shocked to see that he literally took himself out of all of the WhatsApp chats. Even yeah. the GPC, GPC one, one which yeah. I thought for sure he I would see, not really? Yeah. Yes. This is how much I pay attention to group chat. <laughs> <Yeah. it. laughs> I'm a nightmare for it. Uh, but yeah, so um, Fraser is just kind of taking a, a step back. And and we kind of knew he was getting more and more involved with family and stuff. And he's got his curling going on and then the hair treatment stuff going on. And there's also potential sex change down the road. So, I mean, there's a lot on his plate. So we are fully supportive of him and his life choices. And uh, whichever way he wants to swing, Fraser, we are behind you 100%. Um, so we will miss him for just today. And, uh, no, no, he's always welcome to come back on the show whenever he wants, but no, he really is just taking a step back. And, and he sent a very nice message to me. He also sent it one to the podcast team, which Mike never read. That's okay. Uh, and he basically just said, you know, Hey, I just need to take a step back. I've got stuff going on. That's just beyond my control right now that I just need to focus in on work and life. And so, yeah. Go for it. And, and like Mike, he, he knows that there's always this, a seat for him if he ever wants to come on as a guest from now and again. Yep. As long as it doesn't clash yes. with another podcast at the same time. Right. <laughs> so that means exactly. we're trying to fill two different spots on the show now. Um, <laughs> now we'll pick that out. Anyway. They're dropping right. like flies. It's terrible. I, I know. I know. <laughs> they are dropping like flies. Uh, it's all part of my master plan. Yeah, I'm Greg, killing it. Greg's taking naked auditions for the next host. <laughs> you have to be yes, a female <laughs> between the ages of 18 and 25. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that mistake. Uh, remind me never to post a poll into Facebook <laughs> and allow people to edit the post. I don't know how I made that mistake, but it would not let me go back in and close the edits, so I couldn't shut it off. So the Amateur. whole... Amateur. Asked, yeah, asking the <laughs> listeners to give us feedback on when another time change might, you know, what other time might be good was a very bad decision on my yeah, part. Yeah, it's very scary yeah. that Greg post- podcasting naked came out on top. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's that's kind of, that's what's really going on. Um, one movie to talk about. Uh, on my flight back from New York, I watched a movie called The Last Flag, I believe it was called. It has oh, Steve, yeah. Steve Carell, uh, Brian Cranston, and uh, Lawrence Fishburne. And um, surprisingly, it's got some lighthearted bits to it. It's a very deep topic. Uh, I, I don't want to give too much away on it, but it is... Uh, last it, it's, Flag Flying, is it? Yes, Greg? The Last That's Flag that. Flying. Excuse yeah. me, yes. Uh, anyway, quite good. 6.9 on IMDb. Yeah, that's probably crap, but still, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise because I, I hadn't even heard about the movie, and so, no. uh, yeah. Anyway, all right, mm-hmm. let's talk about some games with benefits. Yeah. It's game time. Day I feel like playing computer games. It's game time. Mark with the remixes. Look at him. <laughs> he's good he's good uh he, he, again we have told him to just mimic everything duke does so i'm <laughs> sure soon enough we're going to hear some simpsons references it's not the only thing you mimic on the veteran gamers is it uh hi <laughs> <Aye>. hi <Aye. coughs> uh, all right you games with benefits suck. games with benefits let's just turn his camera off let's just no yeah. no i have a picture of the veteran garage for the audio listeners and i keep holding it up for comic yeah. effects <laughs> yeah mm. all right mm. games with benefits what is this exactly this is when we are going to talk about some of the the, the quote-unquote free games the games that we get for being paid services with xbox live or uh, psn uh, or for that fact twitch prime uh, and so basically uh, every month we'll pick a few games, uh, one from each of the free offerings, and we play them. We'll talk about them and uh, kind of give our thoughts on those games and uh, hopefully give some some good advice to those that might want to potentially play some of these games. So Mike, so the, idea, so the, the idea is to sort of like we're all playing the same games together. Is that is that roughly yes. so it's all going? Right, okay. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Now, Mike, I know you've played one of these games. So Go on, on Xbox One, we picked Super Hot. Yes. Uh, on the PS4, we picked Ratchet and Clank. No. I don't know if you 
played Ratchet and Clank, but I believe you have played Super Hot. I have played Super Hot. Yes, yes, I played it on the the Puck, the PC. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's good. That's a great game. Do we just talk about it, it now? Should we should talk about it now? Yeah, so, no. Go for it. Go for it, Greg. Sorry. No, 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 no. I, I was just curious, Kim. Have you played Super Hot? Yes. Excellent. Mm-hmm. And Mark. Uh, yeah, I'm about three quarters way through. It's brilliant. I love it. All right. Uh, so, I mean, those not familiar with Super Hot, um, it is uh, basically a game that it, it's a first-person shooter-like game where uh, every time you move, time moves. And so uh, the object, obviously, is to kill, uh, clear out the level, kill everybody uh, coming at you. And it's done in a um, – how would you describe that uh, that artistic form? I mean, it's not – pixelated but it's uh, like shell shaded polygon polygon right. polygonal shell shadedness it's what's on the screen that's what just look said. at the screen yes yeah, yeah. um yeah. everybody's silhouetted maybe that's kind of the better way to put it silhouetted ish yeah. right. uh, anyway, it's a very unique look um and it, it looks very simple uh, you know, uh, on the surface level as you're playing it because it feels like it should be super easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, it becomes quite challenging as you get further into the more levels because they start adding in additional enemy types, um, the different, you know, different types of challenges for you to try and figure out. And, and it's basically a puzzle game more than anything. It's not really a shooter. It's more of a puzzle game at the end of the day. Um, and and I, I'm quite smitten with it. I, I've really enjoyed playing it. I, I um, it's been a while since I played it, but I, it's kind of a hard game to sort of pin down on genre. It's like it sort of breaks everything. You you kind of like it's a bit of a first person, but it's not. It's a puzzle game, but it's like Super Meat Boy, but it's kind of it looks like poor, you know it's like all over the place. And um, it's it's genuinely a game that I play and I go I haven't played anything like it ever. You know, like it's just it's something that you just play and go. This, I've never done this before in a video game, mm-hmm. which is very rare, I feel like. And it's the, one of the very rare games that I actually want to play in VR. And I fucking hate VR. I think it's overrated mess. But the, the, the VR version is meant to be amazing. You could tell, you know, as soon as somebody right. said to you, super hot VR, and you're like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to do that. Um, but yeah, well, I was talking about The mechanics of the game fit perfectly with VR. Yeah, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's amazing. And, uh, you know, just chopping a bullet in half with a sword and just grabbing a gun. You feel like John Wick in slow motion. That's pretty much what the game is. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want to be Keanu Reeves, another dream boat? And, you know, it's it's, you just feel great. It's one of those games that you feel brilliant in the execution. And I feel when any game nails that, when you feel like a badass, uh, you're on for a winner. And that's what Superhot does. That's why I love it. Yeah. Can't disagree with that. Kim, uh, have you enjoyed your time with it? You know, I went into it not really knowing what to think, but I thought, you know what? It's the game's benefits. I'll give it a shot. I don't know. I played mm, four or five levels so far, and uh, I really like it. I, I'm kind of surprised at it. But, uh, yeah, it was not what I was expecting for sure. But, uh, it, yeah, I like it. What were you expecting, Kim? Well, you know, they said first person shooter, so I'm thinking typical first person shooter and it's it's not really so much that. No. Exactly. No. No. So yeah, I, I'm uh, I was pleasantly surprised, so I'll have to get a few more levels under my belt and see how much further I can go, but uh, I I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, so. I, I do think puzzle uh, it's it is really is more of a puzzler. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it is all about figuring out how to w- make your way through that level to clear it um and the shooting aspect of it is actually pretty easy yep um it's which is nice for me yeah (laughs) um and and technically time doesn't stop i I really do should point this out i found that out the hard way Mm -hmm. um because i I decided to put the controller down and go grab myself a drink and came back and i died whoops Um, pause (laughs) it like a normal person (laughs) right Right? well for, for some reason i thought Time was paused when you weren't moving, but time yeah. has just slowed down right. considerably. Mm-hmm. Very, very slow. Exactly. Down. Right. Uh, so yeah, uh, Mark, have you got on with uh, Super Hot as well? I believe you were talking yep. about it last week. So yeah, um, what I like about it is um, it's got that trials fusion type thing. So if you mess up, you can press a button and instant restart again. 
and right. yeah. the enemies spawn in the same place, but they do do different things depending on where you go. Uh, mm. But you can sort of like learn from your mistakes and learn the level. Mm -hmm. Um, and some of them you need to do that because there was one which took me a while to do, one with a pool table at the bar. That's oh, yeah. A, I know which one you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, that took me a while to figure out. But when you do mm. it, you think, yes, and it's quite a nice sense of achievement when you actually do complete the level and you get mm -hmm. the super hot uh, voice going off. But, yeah, it's really good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try finish it for next week uh, before we uh, pick a new game for our new freebies. All right. Excellent. Well, let's uh, shift gears. Uh, PlayStation 4, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I have heard nothing but good things about this game. It's brilliant. Uh, yeah, it, it came out, I believe, just after the movie came out. And so it uses a lot of bits from the movie, mm -hmm. uh, the Ratchet and Clank movie. But I have heard uh, like across the board that everybody says the game is better than the movie. Yeah. So um, I, I don't think you need to see the movie once you play the game. It basically is a movie, but in a playable form. Okay. All right. And and Kim, you and Mark both playing Ratchet and Clank. Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, I'm that's one of them. I'm, I'm playing with my little nephew Tony, and we uh, we started it, and we started Never Alone eh, right about the same time. And he would much rather play Ratchet and Clank at the moment than than Never Alone. So we've been breezing through it. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm All actually right. looking at you know maybe down the road seeing about playing some more of them because isn't isn't there more right? Yeah, but well, there's a few on PS3. Um, whether you can. Get them on PS4. I don't know. To be honest, you might better get them from that PS now. Mm -hmm. Back of right. list, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure you can there. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Yes, there are there are uh, quite a few Ratchet and Clank games. So, uh, but I think this is this is by far the best looking mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank game that's come out so far. And uh, well, I mean, again, yeah. people they, they they rate this very highly. So, well, well, oh yeah. yeah, I can see why. Yeah, from a technical point, the, the game is super smooth. It runs at steady, rock solid. I think it's sixty frames a second. Looks gorgeous with the cartoon and graphics. Gameplay is brilliant. The, the weapons are hilarious in it, and it's just it's just a super fun game. Right, and this was Insomniac, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys who did Sunset this is them, Overdrive. them at their heyday. Yeah. Yep. So, all right. Uh, well, uh, there is one other game uh, from Games with Benefits that we can talk about real quickly, and that's actually on my playlist. But I started playing Shadow Tactics, which is a Twitch Prime game. Um, mm. So this is a game that it had caught my eye back uh, when it, it came out. It came out onto console as well, and I, I was very interested because it was toted as being XCOM-like. And I thought, well, XCOM. I loved XCOM. I, I know what this. this game is. Yes. 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 Okay. So, fast forward to some disappointment. Um, <laughs> it, it it looks good. Um, it, it's serviceable in in terms of its graphics and uh, its execution is decent. But I found it kind of simplistic. And 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 I'm going to give it a you know further playthrough. But more or less, uh, instead of in XCOM where you've got your squad and you're kind of moving them through in, in in turns, if you will. Um, here, you're just kind of constantly going, but it's um, it's not really turn-based per se. You just pick your travel points using a cursor and you kind of map out where you're going to go, and then time moves forward as you move, and then you move again, and you know, kind of, time keeps kind of going as you're moving through. Um, I... The the aesthetic the the whole genre of being you know feudal Japan you're basically kind of a ninja trying to make your way through you know encampments and uh, and taking out people as an assassin. It's got the makings of being a really cool game, but for whatever reason, I just don't find the gameplay that compelling. Um, not like I do with XCOM Two um, or Wasteland for that fact. Uh, Wasteland Two I found you know to be a really fun, engaging game. This just isn't doing it for me, and I don't know. Uh, if it's because it's so kind of drawn back, um, you're, you're very much in that isometric view, but really pulled back far as opposed to being more up close to the action like you are, say, in XCOM. Um, and so it just uh, it, it, it hasn't wowed me yet. I will definitely keep giving it a shot. Do it's ninjas do it? Do ninjas do it for you, though, Greg? Because I know you like your mechs. In well, your sci fi and see, uh, Mark of the Ninja. I love that game. Ooh, so, because... did you see that message I sent you, Mike, on Twitter? With Mark the Mark of the Ninja remaster. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Is that on? Because I know it's coming out for the Switch. Is that separate? Is it coming out for the Xbox One? I and... don't know yet. I think so. Oh, it don't is. Don't quote me. Yeah. I think so. Why would you? I've quoted that? you now, Kim. Sorry. Yeah, no. I mean, because I don't think it's backwards compatible on the Xbox One, so that would make sense, I guess. Mm-hmm. And it's a yeah. great game. It's like it is a good game. Best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so um, Shadow Tactics. Yeah, it, it's 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 okay. It's not wowing me. I will definitely give it some some further playthrough, and I'll, I'll report back uh, maybe next week and let you know what I think. Yeah. Man. So, uh, that being said, hey Kim. Hey yes. Uh, why don't we just run through real quickly what the the monthly freebies are? Well, we have the upcoming April monthly yeah, freebies April, for games. Yeah, April ones are announced now, so we can go. With Alrighty. That. Our April freebies for Xbox One are The Witness, available April first through April thirtieth. We have Assassin's Creed Syndicate, available April 16th to May 15th. We have our the 360, which is also backwards compatible. We have Cars 2, the video game. I'm sure Anthony Blue tickled over that one. And we have Dead Space 2. It's frightening. Uh-huh. All right, and on our PlayStation Plus. So have these been updated yet or not? Yep. Yeah, yeah, this. This. yep. Oh. oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess they March, have. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, that, that's fail. what threw me off. But yeah, they have been. Uh, for PlayStation 4, we have Mad Max and Trackmania Turbo. For the PlayStation 3, we have In Space We Brawl and Toy Home, which sounds like a rip off a toy story, but whatever. And we have for the Vita, we have 99 Vitas and the Qbert Rebooted, which is for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4. And the Vita. Yes, yeah. and the Vita will have a <laughs> Sorry, well, you Vita. Vita that's... That way. I'm, I'm quite excited for Cuba. I, I loved Cuba right? in the arcades back Me in too. the day. Uh, I'm looking I forward to playing that, that at the uh, arcade I, club. You I actively Q-Bert. despised Qbert. I did not care for Qbert. I've never played it. Oh. <laughs> Zachary assistant. <laughs> what the hell is that? Greg's just been handed a beverage that looks like, I don't know, it's maybe good. you should question his marriage. It's got whipped cream uh, in the No, top. don't question my marriage. Uh, I, my wife just handed me a strawberry daiquiri. What? Okay. Do I know what I don't know that? It's basically a strawberry margarita, but instead of tequila, it uses rum. Right. And is it and whipped cream she, on the top? She gave me a little whipped cream on the top. Right. Well, there yes. you go. Aren't I we having a jolly good time today, Greg? Yes. Oh, you know. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good week for like a month for uh, free games, though. The Witness I haven't played. Syndicate is a is a fine yeah. Assassin's Creed game. Dead Space 2, arguably one of the best games yeah. of the last generation. Yeah. It's like up there, I would say. Uh, Mad Max is a fine game. It's a bit boring after yeah, a while. It's repetitive, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, very repetitive. But I played it. Yeah. I, you know, sounds like you played it as well, Mark. Yeah, I, I, I it, thought yeah. it was yeah. it was all right. It, you know, yeah, I finished it as well. Mm. Sometimes repetitive doesn't always mean like you know like a bad thing, does it? Because you yeah. know. Because it's repetitive, you kind of well. I don't know. I just know what I'm doing. It's like comfort food after a while, isn't it? You yeah. just sort of yeah. switch it on and then just do something else, listen to a podcast. But the witness, I'd be curious to play. I've got that on PC. It was part of a humble bundle a few months ago. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And the first few levels, you think, ah, yeah, I'm easy at this. I'm, I'm getting good at this. I'm brainy. I and mean, then it throws some hard ones in. You think, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You start going, oh no, what do I do here? But, yeah. but it's quite good actually. I quite like it. Yeah, I'll be curious. So I'm just, I, I'm, I'm saying for our upcoming. See, this is this is our opportunity. Let's make the choices. What are our games with benefits for April going to be? So I'm thinking it should be the witness. Yeah, and it's be the witness, and then we can see who gets for furthest as well. Yep. Uh, uh, and yeah. then maybe Trackmania Turbo. Um. Eh? Mm, yeah. 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 I think that will be more community friendly yeah. than Mad Max. Yeah, we'll just, yeah. we got that free on the Xbox uh, recently, and it's quite good actually. I quite like it. So yeah. All right, there we go. Set in stone for April. The Witness and Trackmania Turbo. Uh, Robin Tate will only be playing those games. Nothing else but that <laughs> month of April. Uh, all right, where are we at? Uh, I guess we're supposed to be talking about what games we have been playing. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, mm-hmm. So, Mike, uh, again, being our guest, uh, first and last day back on the podcast, uh, <laughs> let's talk about what you have been playing. Yes, and I know you, you got this like little 
hint of excitement in your voice because you're like, oh, look at look at the look at the game that he's put in there. Well, prepare to be disappointed, Greg, because <laughs> I've been playing uh, a game called A Way Out, which is uh, which is like quite a, a big deal, and it's the co-op game where mm-hmm. one person buys it and it can just gift it to another right. person and play it. And uh, so I didn't buy it. My my uh, my best man to be. Uh, Mr. Marsh bought it, and he, he said, um, "Yes, I've, I bought a way out. Let's play." And I went, "Great!" And we booked it out because we're adults now. We have lives. He has like kids and a wife and a dog in that order, and right. uh, and and you know he's building an extension. He's like a real man, and I've got well, well, you know, uh, PUBG, right. and uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, so we we blocked it out Wednesday night. Great put it in and then what happens is i download the trial and he right. has the game and then he, i load up the trial he loads up the game and he invites me and i go into his game and it was authenticating or whatever it was and then it was just an infinite loading screen forever and ever and ever and we restarted oh. the game we restarted the xbox we uh, i switched the xbox off at the plug switched it back right. on he did the same Took the internet out, took the internet back in, Googled it. Lots of people having similar problems. I don't know if it's solved now, but I I couldn't play a minute of it, unfortunately. That's a shame. So what you're trying to say is... Side of this, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. I'm sensing you don't have a real opinion about the game. I'm well. I do. I fucking hate it at the moment. Uh, no, I don't. I, I, no, unfortunately, it's, it's a bit of a troll putting it there because I haven't played it. And and and, uh, but I wanted to talk about that—the fact right. that uh, that it didn't work. And I'm, I'm guessing it's because the servers are full. It's a brand right. new game. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, well, but but just... I mean, if you think about it, the, the offer is pretty amazing. Uh, you know, buy the game yeah. because it's co-op dependent. Anybody of your, any of your friends can download the demo and play it with you. It's pretty good, and I only know of one other game that did something similar, which was Far Cry Four. I think did mm. something similar where you could play co-op with someone who hasn't bought the game or something weird, um, which is a coincidence because oh, we, yeah, we're, talk, we're also going to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're also going to play Far Cry Five together. I bought that, but I haven't played it yet. But um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm disappointed because I mean, me and Marsh love co-op games it's our favorite thing to do you know we right. loved halo we went half on the original xbox we got chucked out of a, a store in england called hmv for playing halo for too long in the store um and then we went out and i just got a car at the time you know and and, and it was really exciting we bought it from the paper and all this stuff uh and we'd share the xbox because we didn't have enough money to buy it like outright and all this stuff and we loved halo absolutely loved it Halo 2, and, and just any co-op game, even like mad ones like um, Saints Row, 50 Cent, Blind the Sand, we've always played co-op games together, so like this one is like, you know, perfect for us, so we were so disappointed that we didn't get a chance to play it, and we were just gutted, we were just gutted, and I was so good, I couldn't even bother to play PUBG, I was just like, whatever, wow. I, I was really, like, all day I was at work, and I was thinking, like, oh, yes, I can't wait to play a way out tonight. It's gonna yeah. be great, and I, and it didn't work. And I, and you're right, Greg. It, it is a cool thing that they're doing, and, and it'll probably work now if I tried Hopefully. it or right. in a week or whatever. But it's disappointing, isn't it? You know, when like they hype well, it up, and this is what it's meant to do, and then it doesn't do the thing that it's meant to do, and that's disappointing. Right. Well, and 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 also, you know, kind of adding to that frustration is you 100% cannot play this game without a co-op partner. Yeah, this is exactly. you have to have a co-op partner to play this game. Was, you cannot was, play this solo. I was even considering driving around his house. But this, like, I was, I was like, I used to drive around your house, and he doesn't live ter- no too far, but it was right. getting late. It was like I'm, I could just come around your house and play it. Um, but you know, and but like the sort of time had passed. His kids were in bed. He was getting tired. He got work. You know what I mean? And it's just right. like. Uh, you know, if I was if I was ten years younger, maybe it wouldn't be such a problem because we pl- we would have played the next night, but. Right. You know, we're in our thirties now, and life doesn't work out like that for us. So it's it it is disappointing for me uh, because I, I'm only disappointed because it looks so good. But I don't, has anybody else had a chance to play a way out or? Mm-hmm. Have not. No. no. Oh well. But there you go. But I yeah I, I don't know. Do we? So that's all I got to say about a way out. I'm very disappointed that it didn't right. work. Is it? Do we round robin this or do I just keep going? 
Uh, we could just keep going. I mean, you only have the one other game to talk about, and unless you're going to say you have a solo chicken dinner on, uh, you know, anything, I don't know if there's really anything <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> well, Greg. Yes, Mike. I'm excited. I have a solo chicken dinner on the Xbox. Oh, okay. I was just going to ask if you did it on mobile. No. <laughs> <laughs> on the Xbox. I did it All on right. the Xbox. Um, and, I mean, I, I played PUBG today on the PC, and I came second, and it was ridiculously close. And I've, I I do feel like I've got this sort of, like, mental block when it comes to solo chicken dinner on PUBG right. on the PC uh, because I had him. And But the thing is, when, you, when you're second in PUBG right. and you lose, which I've done probably about 20 times now, that's not a joke. Like, I've probably been there so many times. And Fraser was being very nice to me and saying, you know... I wouldn't because I kept on saying I'm shit at PUBG because I never got a chicken dinner. Like I wouldn't say you're shit. I think you've just got some sort of like sort of weird mental block because you're not bad. You know, I get chicken dinners in squads and duos. It's no problem, but I just can't get it. And and when you second, and sometimes I've I've gone to bed just after I've lost, or or even today when I came second, I was like. Oh, I, I kind of I, I was I was outside the circle a little bit, and I was like, the circle did more damage if I just it's healed up. And you have twenty twenty vision. Do you know what I mean? As soon as right. the game is over, you've got perfect vision of what you should have done. And uh, but I didn't do it. So, I, but yeah, I got my solo chicken dinner on the Xbox. Um, I was literally waiting. This is just before a way out, by the way. I was waiting for Marsh. Uh, no, I was waiting for the gang to download the trial to download, and I played a game. And I was my first game. I was literally the first person to die. I was 99. Oh, that's that's tough to do, right? And I know that's an. It's almost as hard. Self. It's almost as hard yes. as a chicken dinner. <laughs> yes, I jumped out very quickly and had a fist fight and died straight away. And I went, uh, "Shall I have another one?" I had another one, all right? And I and I won it. And it was in Pollyanna, which is the big town to the. To right. The, oh, we like that. We like the police uh, station of a back door, Greg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's 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 a uh, three flats in a kind of C shape, and it was very close. Right, the circle's very tight. And basically, it came down to there was there's a house, and it was in the circle, right? Uh, just a one story house, very small house, and there was two people in it. I know that okay. because somebody, the fifth person, ran in and died instantly. And I went right, I'm not going to go in there. And there right. were two people out, and one of those people that was outside was me. I killed the the other person outside, so now I know there's two people inside. And the only reason I won it is because I opened the door, didn't go in, and closed it. And they thought that somebody went in, right? So they panicked inside, and and one came out in the balcony, killed him. The other one panicked, and I honestly, if I didn't get that chicken dinner, I probably would have quit PUBG. <laughs> it was it was laid out for me, like, you know what I mean? Like he didn't know where I was. He was point blank in front right. of me. It was like the perfect situation, and and yeah, and so I I, and I got a salad of chicken dinner. I was I was pretty calm throughout as well. I think that's what it was. I was I wasn't really. You know, on the PC, I get when I get nervous, I get cold for some reason. Right. My hands, yeah. uh, my I hands think, get really cold I think because you wanted it so much as well. It's, I, it yeah. made it more yes. elusive for you because I wanted so. Yeah. And on the Xbox, I was so, so honestly when I was maybe the when there was like three left, I was a bit like, oh, this this is. But I've at this point, I've been there so many times. Right. Even when I get to top five, I'm like, well, here we go again. You know, I just don't even. I was, well, I'm just gonna get shot in the head. So when when you when you won, did you just like have that moment of euphoria just, that like what? I I, I, I just I won. Think, yeah, I, I think I just I just went like that, and I took a picture, and I just and I just went okay, and it felt like the pressure had gone a little bit of this right. whole thing that I've built for my. I realize I've done it to myself, really, but like this this whole like chinny getting a solid. I, I've I've hyped it up, but I've sort of purposely did it just to, for a bit of a laugh, but. You know, it's become a thing, and uh, and and it calmed me down a little bit, and it put the pressure off, and I sort of felt like, I, oh, maybe I don't really need to change it anymore. But I, I I got so close with the PC, and 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 to be honest, I was w- watching through some of the clips that I've that I've done because I'm making a video of all my second places for right. for solo project. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a folder of all my second places, and it's basically me hitting this microphone a lot, <laughs> uh, and yeah, you know. And I, I, I realize how, how close I get sometimes. I forget yeah. how how like hard it is to get second and, and how and I, some of it's really bad luck. Some of it it's like 
there's nothing I could have done, you know. And some of it, it's the ones where I know I could have done it, um, which is frustrating. But PUBG's PUBG, I, I still love it. I don't know. Are you still playing it, Greg? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I did yeah. not actually play it this week. Uh, yeah. and that was mostly due to my travel schedule. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, I still absolutely love PUBG. Uh, I find PUBG, uh, the, the intensity of the matches to me is rivaled by none. Yeah, um, I, I, it, I think it is. If, go on, Greg, sorry. No, no, it's just, it's, it's, it's such a different kind of intensity too. I know Fortnite is all the rage right now and it's super yeah. popular, but it feels so different from Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 um, I've, I've got a goddaughter, Greg, that I don't see, but I should, uh, but I, I, but I went around and dropped the some Easter eggs, right. And, right. uh, and cause she's got like brothers and sisters and stuff. And I went around, it's my friend's daughter and I went around and I went, Hey Kira. And she was playing Fortnite. Right, that's what she was. She was playing Fortnite. I was like, "Oh, you play, you playing Fortnite?" She was like, "Yeah, I love it." And I, I was watching it, and I, I was like, "This looks good." Whose phone is that? It's Greg, you won't get that yeah. on any other show. I'm telling you now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know, and she was loving it, and and I was watching Fortnite, and it looks polished, it looks fun, you know, and the right. and, and it looks a bit different, if I'm honest, you know, and, and no, this is me being. Much so. This is me being fair. Like usually, I just say Fortnite's for babies. That's like me being like silly. But you know, when I look at Fortnite, I think it feels like a different game almost. It feels faster. It feels a little bit more lighthearted and all that sort of stuff. So I, I, I should give it a go. I, I feel like I, I, I should sort of give it a go. But all, at the moment, all I want to do is get a silent chicken dinner on the PC. That's that's kind of all I want to do. Um, okay. Yeah, it's one of those. But that's that. But all anyway, right. I'll stop. Well, congratulations for finally at least getting a solo chicken dinner. On the Xbox, uh, yeah. On easy oh, yeah, mode. On yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 Chicken dinner still a chicken dinner, Greg. It is. It is. It still tastes pretty damn good. Mm. Uh, all right. Uh, Kim. Yes. Let's, uh, let's slide over your way. <laughs> well, we've already talked about Ratchet and Clank and Super Hot, so I can skip over those two. But I uh, I played a little Sea of Thieves. Um, well, we can jump in on this. We've, we've done this. Yeah. I, I, I'm not a very good pirate. I'll just put that out there. <sighs> Okay, so let's let's just clear some air on Sea of Thieves real fast. Mm-hmm. Sea of Thieves, uh, you know, they've talked about, yes, you can play this game by yourself. Mm-hmm. However, in fairness, I think this game is absolutely, you have to either be a two-person squad or in a four-person squad to actually yep. get enjoyment out of Sea of Thieves. If you're If you're playing this solo, you are likely going to have a less than fun time, especially if you see another ship, um, it becomes infinitely difficult. Uh, so that being said, if you were playing solo, Kim, I can already, I would surmise you've not had the best of times. Uh, no, no, let's see. Uh, I died three times. The first time I died was because I got bit by a snake and then a skeleton found me and killed me. Um, let me see. The second time I died... I don't even remember why. Why? Oh, I, I blew myself up. I think. Uh, and then the third time I died, I, I made. I finally got my ship away from the dock. You know, you got to put the sails down. Who knew? Right. And I made it to an island. And the next thing I know, I apparently got too close to the island and uh, smacked my ship a little bit. I turned it around, not thinking anything about it. And when I turned it around, I'm sailing along in my my little ship. And uh, next thing I know, I'm underwater. Yeah. The- <laughs> I've got to the point now that every time I dock at um, a, a place, an island, I always go down below to make sure there's no holes and no leaks. Yeah. And next thing I know, so I'm seeing the island off in the distance, and I'm like, well, that's not too far. I can swim that. No, right. no, a, a, a shark come up, and uh, it ate me. And I thought, you know what? I'm done with that. So <laughs> a pirate's life is not for me, at least not by myself. All right. I, I, I totally cannot disagree. Mm-hmm. I can see how that would be frustrating. Um, I had the good fortune of playing this with Mark. Uh, so Mark and I banded together. Uh, we also had a four-person voyage uh, with uh, Robin and Steffi Business last Sunday, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Um, so we've had that multiplayer kind of experience. And, I mean, in fairness, the multiplayer experience has been fun. Um, mm-hmm. uh, it, it is... It's much more realistic than I think a lot of people think it's going to be oh, yeah. in terms in terms of the ship management. Um, mm-hmm. 
I mean, you know, we're talking about you are having to, you know, yes, you have to raise and lower your sails. Yes, you have to steer the ship, but you you drop anchor. You have to position mm-hmm. the sails. Um, you have to, in terms of your cannons, when you're getting in a fight, you have to actually lead properly your shots. You can't just try and shoot directly at them. Um, you know, wind currents uh, play a huge role. If, if you are in rough sea, you can't just have your sails down full blast because your ship is going to take water on and you're likely going to sink. Uh, and um, in, in a heavy storm as well, with a lot of rain, you have to keep bailing your, your, your base yeah. of your ship out. Otherwise, you, you'll sink. So it, it requires this coordination of players. And that's, that's really, I think, what, um, what detracts it from a solo player experience. And also, I think from some people, it, you know, they just didn't enjoy that aspect of it. Uh, but I think that is a big selling point from a kind of community fun, let's go dick around and be pirates uh, kind of scenario. Um, we had a blast yesterday, Mark. You and I, literally, we had a open sea battle with yeah. another tandem and it for, I think, it, an yeah. hour. Yeah. It had to been an hour long. We are just going back and forth, trading shots having just this epic sea fight. And, and finally, we peeled off. We both broke away from one another. Uh, we, we just kind of called it a draw. And uh, and then Mark and I kept sailing uh, because we were trying to escape. And suddenly, the sea started turning red. And we're thinking the Kraken is yeah, coming. We so we're like freaking clear. out. Yeah. And, and suddenly, we're seeing holes in our ship start popping up and water's coming on. And Mark and I are just panicked at this point. Plug the mm-hmm. hole! bail the water and we're running around like crazy trying to do all this and just more and more holes keep popping up on the ship uh we found out uh, afterwards that when you reach the edge of the map the ocean turns red <laughs> it's time to turn Ooh. around if you keep going basically the game will sink your ship yeah and so that's, yeah that, well, that's what happened so uh but it was it was just i mean we had a really fun time with it um I still wish and do hope that Rare does bring some kind of progression system into this uh, more than just trying to become a pirate legend. I don't think that really is enough to keep this game going long term. So I think they're going to have to address that at some point. Um, I don't know if it's too late or not for the game. I mean, it's had a lot of heavy criticism, but I also know a lot of community members when they've gone in and played the game with friends, Mm -hmm. it's been a fun experience. Um, and, and, And to that you know, that's what I say is if you're going to play Sea of Thieves, don't play it alone. Play with somebody else um, and, and, you know, and embrace the pirate life. Uh, you, know, I, you know, we had a, a one ship that they, you know, again, we got in this fight with them. They kept coming after us. And finally, we're just like, fuck it. Let's turn around. Let's let's engage them because we were kind of trying to do the, you know, we were we'll trying just to do a, yeah, one of the proper uh, riddle quests. Right. Uh, but we knew that as soon as we we sort of like anchored off the island they'll just come and blow our ship to bits so we we have to do something right and then uh later on actually speaking of the riddle um so uh we we had this riddle quest we figured out the island it was on we were sailing to the island and the whole time we're looking for that other ship we'd been fighting they were still in the map somewhere and we saw them in the far off distance um, and I wasn't sure if they were coming at us or not. So I, I'm telling Mark, you know, angle, you know, put the ship to have an island in between us and them so they can't see us and where we're going. So you just start thinking kind of tactically like that. And I think that's one of the things I really like about the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and then we started approaching the island where the riddle was that we were supposed to go find this treasure. And we noticed a oh, ship yeah, yeah. was docked at the island. And we're like, oh, shit, there's people here. And so... Instead of engaging the ship, we brought our ship to the other side of the island because they weren't on their ship. We knew they were on the island. We had no idea where they were. But we bring the ship to the other side of the island, and we docked on the back side of the island. And we jumped off, found the treasure, and as we're getting back onto our ship, suddenly they appeared out on the beach where we were, and we just hightailed it out of there. And, uh, and got our treasure, cashed it in, and called it a night. But... So yeah, Sea of Thieves. It, it is a fun co-op game. Yeah, hundred percent. In, in my eyes, I, I really enjoyed my experience with it. But again, I get the criticisms. I I fully understand, and I do believe that Rare does need to do something with regards to progression, yeah. some more content. I really would love to see them add in some NPC players. Um, in terms of you know they have the skeletons, but I would love to see some just 
NPC like galleons yeah, that are all the ships the seas. are real players of the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to see, you know, just a, a galleon, kind of like a fort, but it's a ship, and you know, and you attack the ship to get the the you know the the goods they're transporting. Um, so I think that could be a fun addition. But again, that's me. I'm not. A is, game is there a goal? Is no. there a goal? There apart is a goal. From, apart from getting your reputation up to being the pirate lord sort of yes. thing. Um, but basically, you each time you play, you're creating your own adventures. They've left it mm. like open to do what you want, really. Well, I don't want it just to get treasure, basically. Yeah, uh, you just. What does the treasure? Get... What does the treasure get you? It gets you gold, obviously, <laughs> but you also get um, progression ranks for the gold hoarders, the merchants, <clears throat> and the mystic woman. Uh, when you get skull, um, kill the skeleton skulls, and take the skulls yeah. back. So you, you, there is a little bit of progression in that way because you're leveling up the three uh, factions, the merchants. But as far as your leveling goes, there isn't any. And everything you get is cosmetic. So you can get um, a better looking bucket to do the bailing out, a better looking weapon. But it doesn't make any difference to the game. It's just cosmetic, which is a shame, really. It'd be good if a bucket would get rid of more water each uh, as you level I, it up. I, mm. um, I know they're, they're afraid of doing any kind of yeah. uh, you know loot that is going to impact the gameplay because they don't want it to be pay to win. Um, mm. So everything is is again cosmetic. You know, you can get a better, different pirate hat. You can get some different coats and shoes, whatever the case may be. Um, but I, I just feel like this kind of game needs some kind of progression. You know, it's one of the things that's actually an attractive thing about PUBG. If you think about it, PUBG has a progression loop to it. You land with nothing. You scavenge for gear. You make yourself better with that gear, and by the end of the game. You know, it's your skill and the gear that you've gotten that's going to, you know, make or break your game for you. And then you start all over again. Yeah. So I almost wish in this game, every time you sessioned in, you basically started with nothing. And then as you are adventuring the seas, you find new gear and loot. And that helps your progression and become a stronger pirate. And then eventually, whenever you quit out or you die, you lose all that gear and start from scratch again. Maybe that could be the, the way they handle it. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm like... I've I've sort of kept my distance from say these a little bit, but you know I look at it and it looks it looks great, you know, and I I hope that like in a year's time, it's still alive, and like it's got, you know, I know there's meant to be a kraken in it, but like you know some other kind of crazy adventures that you can go on. I hope that it that in a year like we're still talking about it and they're still yeah. supporting it because I think they've created something pretty pretty cool looking. Yeah. Um, but you know, from what I've heard, it's a bit shallow. But you know, I, I hope that they add to it and and don't Microsoft don't just drop it. You know, like a like a bad it, smell or whatever. Yeah, if you look at games like Rainbow Six Siege when that first came out, that got the same criticism: lack of content, yeah. lack of maps. And look at it now; it's one of the biggest games on Twitch, and there's esports for it and everything. So yeah, if if Rare get bit, well, I'm, I know Rare are behind this because they've put so much into it. It's going to get the content. It's going to get the support. I'm I'm really hoping. Uh, so yeah, I, I think it's going to have legs. Hopefully, maybe even a peg leg. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So uh, anything else on CFTs, or should we move on? No, no more. I did play uh, some Monster Hunter World though. So okay, there's that. I'm interested in this. Um, this is well, like a game that's kind of up your alley, Kim. I know, right? Which is why you know I got yeah, it. Yeah. Um, well, I had to go through, of course, the the character creation, which still took me like thirty minutes. Even though I swear she's just like some vacant eyed, like zombie looking thing, but whatever. Um, it's it's um, I don't know. I haven't got very far. I've uh, made my character. I've got to the little base on the the new world that we're supposed to go to. I've seen dinosaurs with dragons, which is a little weird, but you know what? Um, that's okay. I'm, I'm digging it. So, uh, you know, so far so good. I mean, I can't really say much because, like I said, I haven't done much. It's a it's it's made by Capcoms, so you know, obviously, it's a little. What do you want to call it Japanese? Or um, yeah. however you want to. With huge yeah, it's, swords. It's, you like, I think you, I like a big weapon. You do, actually, no, you don't have to have the huge sword because yeah. right now okay. I have a pair of, um, I don't know if they're daggers or what you want to call them, but the, it's not the huge gigantic because I didn't want that either. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, you know, 
What's so the, far, uh, so what's good. What's the progression like on it? Because you, you, oh, you yeah, do level well, up I, in this, don't you? Yes, yeah, yeah but I haven't, I haven't got that far. Like right, I said, right. I've just created my character, got on the boat. The boat, I don't know if I'm spoiling anything or not, but I've got on the boat. The boat, of course, you get stranded. So then you've got to go across the island to get to your base where the, uh, I don't know, the explorers and all that is, the technicians and whatnot. See, I've never played Monster Hunter, so I don't exactly know what all is going on. This is new for me, but, you know. So you've got to, you know, you've got to avoid the animals for now because you don't really have any weapons. And I have an annoying, what is she called? Um, handler or something that goes along with it. Apparently she's supposed to be my partner, but I'm hoping soon she gets eaten by something because she's shrill and annoying. Uh, but I'm told she won't stick around long, so let's hope not. Okay. But uh, yeah, as soon as I get a little further along in it, I'll, I'll let you know. But I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens. So... It looks fantastic. I'm watching the on-screen stuff right oh, now. Oh yeah, it, it looks yeah. really good. I have never, I haven't really looked at Monster. I like, obviously I know, I've heard about it, and I knew about the 3DS one and all this sort of stuff. And I know that this one is, is meant to be like the most accessible. And a lot of Destiny mm-hmm. players have moved on from, right. like they went from Destiny to to Destiny Two, didn't sort of take to Destiny Two, and then went to Monster Hunter because it sort of gives them that same itch, you know. But I'm looking at it now, and it looks like a one hell of a polished game. Um, and it doesn't, it does, there is some Japanese stuff, you know, giant swords and all that sort of stuff. But I don't know, I mean, the animations look amazing. It's the first time I've really looked at it for a while. Yeah, the, the gamesman guys, they're, they're big into this. They play a lot. Mm. Really yeah. That's the problem, isn't it? When you play with someone who's really into it, yeah. and, they, and you're like, whoa, slow down. Like, right, right, just, exactly. Just, what? How do how do I hit something? You know what I mean. <laughs> exactly. And talking about, okay, you got to level up this, and then you charge the charge and the crystals and orgones. Make sure you get, make sure you make sure you deploy your orgones. And you're like, what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> but, you know, it's that it's that, but it's that nonsense, isn't it? Like people really want you to like something that they like, and you're like, blah, 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 blah. Just like, make sure you level up the the, the sacralites. And you're like, listen, how do I <laughs> how do I jump? And let's right. start there. How do I climb up this cliff? You know. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm surprised at how agile the character is because I just thought it was like hacking stuff, but he's climbing yeah. trees, swinging a. Oh front. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Monster Hunter. Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up for now. For now, let's hopefully right. I'll get to you know hunt some monsters soon. I hope. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Kim, real quickly, what are we drinking right now? It is uh, Jack Daniel's Down Home Punch. Nice. Yeah, nice. my sister-in-law gave them to me because she's well pregnant, and of course she can't drink. So I inherited. So God, there's God not enough her. Jack Daniels in it, though. I'm a little disappointed. So you can always add. <laughs> I, I know, right? I'm gonna have to because there's just not enough. Of course, we don't want too much, or we'll have another Robin situation. So we don't want that. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's move on. Mark, you finished yeah. up Assassin's Creed Origins. Yeah, finished it. Did it, um, did it uh, end as good as it started for it, you? It did, yeah. It was a great ending, and it was a great setup to the start of the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, uh, the actual Creed itself, uh, the origin story to it, hence the name Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, really liked it. I loved how they introduced how the, you know the symbol, the, the sort of like triangle with the curvy bits of the bottom. I know how that started now, which is really cool. Ooh. I ain't going to spoil it. You're going to have to play it. Um, I know about the the brotherhood, the start of it, and, and oh, it's just it's so good. Because uh, yeah. maj- I, I know. The, um, sorry, go ahead. The go ahead. majority of the game you're playing as a medjai, uh, which is an Egyptian sort of like um, freedom fighter type thing, uh, and you don't really call yourself an assassin. Um, right. And the Templars uh, until right at the end. So yeah, it's really good. And the, for those who liked the Desmond story in the first um, Assassin's Creed games, like I did. There is a link to that in the real world stuff, which is cool and interesting. Uh, so, yeah, very good. I very enjoyed it. Yeah. I was just going to bring that up, actually. One of our, our listeners, Mr. Miyagi, he had uh, been commenting about he had been playing for an hour, and he was kind of lost. Uh, he was like, it doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed because there's nothing to modern day tie-ins. And I told him, just hang in there. Yeah, It is coming. Uh, it does tie into the modern day stuff, and, and you do get that loop back in, but it does take a while. It, it's yeah. a good, I think hour and a half two hours into the game before you actually have yeah. any kind of link back to modern day times yeah 
and and I've, and I've said it time and time again that two year break they had has made such a difference for me mm. I love the combat a lot of people weren't sure about the combat at first but I love a new combat system it's more engaging it's harder it's not as easy like in the old Assassin's Creed it was just a case of press Y to block and then then B to hit and it was that all over uh, over and over yeah, and over block the counter, same. block yeah. counter block counter but this is more tactical and then you've got your bow and arrow you've got different weapons I, um, near the end of the game you get a, a sword which has got a unique ability which is absolutely amazing and we're not going to say where it is you'll know when you get it it's from a guy named Hepta I think his name is so when you get that sword you, you know Dave that. Choose, choose rainbows <laughs> some bloke <laughs> yeah. called Dave <laughs> <laughs> yeah Alfred uh, yeah, yeah absolutely amazing I love the story the voice acting is brilliant the guy who's in this is nominated for a BAFTA in the video game awards yeah. so yeah well worth a play if you love the Assassin's Creed series like I do you're going to love this game if you don't yeah. like Assassin's Creed I'd still say give us a go because it's got the different elements now it's got a mix of a bit of The Witcher in it a bit of um, uh, Skyrim and all the other little bits little, of little Dark Souls too yeah, in terms yeah, of the combat. combat yeah yeah so well worth a play <laughs> uh, yeah. and I've also started a new game uh, which came out this week. We've got a new game at last. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that is Far Cry 5. Yes, we uh, we've, we've both have been dabbling. Yeah. Uh, anybody else, Mike or Kim? No, I've got, I've got it. I uh, just yeah. haven't started it up yet. I've watched a bit of Duke playing it. Duke's yeah. been streaming okay. it, yeah. and uh, I've seen some bits and bobs. Well, yeah, so. I, I yeah. love Far Cry series. Um, oh, yeah. Ma- mainly 3 and 4. Uh, two, was, 2 was good, but annoying. Uh, I didn't like Primal. Four. Nah, I didn't, I didn't mind like it. it. I found that a bit repetitive and a bit of a drag towards the end, but I, yeah. I got that because it was on a, an Xbox sale. I think we got it for about four quid. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah this, this game, and now I've got the Xbox One X with a 4K screen. It looks amazing. It is so beautiful to look at. Um, I've not been to Montana. I've not been to America, but this looks quite authentic when you see it on the TV and everything. Um the animals in what this... you're seeing on screen by the way is not authentic to america no. <laughs> that's where um, i imagine my honeymoon's gonna be like yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're gonna end up in a cult uh, yep. the, the animals in the game um i didn't expect one thing which was a skunk it came up to me and then turned its ass towards me and shot this green shit at me and the animal was covered in green puffed cloud stuff and it was funny uh i'm gonna shot the fucker um, but yeah, there's bears in it, which are hard to kill. There's cougars. Uh, on screen now, there's a truck with mounted machine guns, which is part of a, an early story mission, which is cool. I love that vehicle. And once you've unlocked the vehicles, you can go to any shop and get that vehicle again. So yeah, yeah. The, the gameplay is great. The gunplay is just as good as 3 and 4. Uh, the story is brilliant. The voice acting is brilliant. Uh, but it's a great opening sequence. Absolutely brilliant opening yeah, sequence. Yeah. I- so I wanted to talk about that real quickly. So the opening sequence is pretty intense. Yeah, uh, it's it's very story heavy, uh, and it it, paints, and it needs it to be to set the scene up. I think. Yeah, it does. It, right. it does. Yeah, yeah I, I I wasn't complaining about that at all. Yeah. Uh, however, and and this is I don't know this from my own experience because I haven't got that far into the game yet. But my understanding is that the game kind of it sets up for this really dark, heavy tone, and then it kind of deviates out, back out of it and kind of goes back into that uh, more traditional Far Cry kind of fun, open world, do what you want to do, ridiculousness that yeah. um, it, 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 in a sense, kind of dilutes the story a little bit. And I don't know this, again, I'm just kind of requoting what I've heard from some other uh, reviewers talking about the game. That was like kind of one of the knocks on the game. It is absolutely gorgeous, as Mark said. Um, the, the gunplay feels good and fun. Um, and that opening sequence was amazing. I really, really enjoyed the, the opening bits of the game, but, um, I am curious to see if it does kind of fall back into some of those trappings of being more kind of zany fun, as opposed to sticking with that really dark kind of, uh, um, ominous story that they, they allude to. Mm. I'm about five hours in now and, um, I've done a couple of side missions as well as well as a couple of story missions, but I have heard people say it gets a bit samey, um, and similar to how Far Cry Four sort of like panned out. But I haven't got to that point yet. I'm still really enjoying right. it. Um, there is a good jokey in joke nod to themselves at the beginning. Um, 
the the tutorial bit is on a little island right bang in the middle to sort of like get used to the controls and everything and the mechanics of the game. And one of the things you have to do is climb a tower. Now, as we all know, Ubisoft love their towers and and everything. <laughs> so you climb this tower and then it comes over radio and says, well, you'll be pleased to know that's the last tower you'll have to climb in this well, not in this game, but in this scenario. Um, so there's no more towers, thank God. Uh, but I thought it was quite a, quite a funny thing. Uh, he said now to uncover the map areas, I think you just drive around and it unfogs. Or you drive around, I think you also like get like maps from individuals. So my yeah, understanding yeah, is it yeah. happens a little more organic, which I like. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, some of the characters you meet are quite funny um, and, and some of them are quite nasty and evil. Um, they set dogs on you, do the enemies. Uh, which take a few bullets to put down, and you feel guilty then because it just lays on the floor going. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> all right, Peter. They're yeah. going to be calling. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, um, I've I've found a rocket launch now, which is a lot of fun. Well, a rocket is launch. It, is that what you're using the dogs, Mark? <laughs> yeah. <sick factor. laughs> yeah. But um, Maybe one of the after that. the the early weapons you get, you, you've only got one main weapon slot to start with. You can lock unlock it as a perk. The perks in this you get as um, leveling up and also for doing challenges. So you get pr uh, progression perks quite quickly. Uh, and one of the perks is to unlock a, a second holster. Uh, so you can either have a machine gun or the AR-15 rifle or whatever, um, or a compound bow. And I went for the compound bow at first. Because I've heard a lot of people say, oh, the rifle's got a lot of recoil and everything. And yeah. the bow is so good. I love that bow. And you can get a red, yes. sight, red dot sight for it later on. And it's so accurate and so satisfying. When you get a headshot, you see the burst of blood come out and then they just stagger a bit and then fall to the ground. They don't just instantly drop it. The animation of the, the headshots is brilliant. Yeah, and Corzon's just said there's a flamethrower, which is fantastic as <laughs> well. Yep. Uh, yeah, and, and fire, actually. That's something to, to talk yeah, about. They, they do like continue with yeah. the tradition of yeah. fire spreads. So I, I, I accidentally threw a Molotov cocktail uh, at my feet, and uh, to my chagrin, <laughs> it spread out everywhere. Yeah. Um, I've, uh, I've not done it yet in Wildlands, but you said flying a helicopter in that is one of the best in the game, in, in, in any video yeah, game. Yeah, I really, yeah, I, well, I love the helicopter controls in Wildlands. Well, I don't know if it's the same control system in this, but the helicopters in this are brilliant to control. They're easy uh, to fly, yeah. they're maneuverable, uh, and I really like it, so... Yeah, I will assume they are the same. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so Far Cry Five, it, it certainly is a good experience so far for both of us. Mm -hmm. um, it looks brilliant. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about the co-op and the um, the map editor. Uh, you you have this crazy big map editor that you can do all kinds of things and draw in other creatures and and enemy types from other games even uh, into uh, into this. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I haven't dabbled in it yet, but I definitely want to check that out at least uh, to, to give it a look. Have you unlocked any companions, though? Because in this game, no. you can unlock uh, companions. You get a specialist companions, which one of them is a dog, uh, as you've seen on all the trailers and everything, so it's not right. a spoiler. But you can unlock um, fighters as well, uh, soldiers and stuff. And, and you can control them like you can in Wildlands. Um, you can give them orders to attack certain things or go to certain places and stay stealthy. So that's quite cool. Um, the dog uh, is called Boomer, and he's adorable. He's lovely. Yeah. So, yeah. I think the one thing I wanted in Wildlands uh, more than anything was the order to not talk. Right. <laughs> just to, to yeah. keep my AI from talking. Yeah. Just, just, just shut, shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's roll on, guys. Let's uh, dive into We got a little bit of news. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, hang on. That's me. Different computer. Here is the fucking news. All right, so it was a pretty slow news week, but we do have a couple stories. Um, to the surprise of many, uh, No Man's Sky is coming to the Xbox One. Um, <laughs> what? To, it's to, not that bad to, now, Mike. Now it's um... to, to many a people, though, the question of why uh, was definitely there too. Uh, in fairness to Mike, um, but yeah, so they're they're bringing No Man's Sky to the Xbox One. I mean. Well, let's face it, they, they're just trying to get this game out to as many as they can, and, and obviously their exclusivity deal uh, ran its course with Sony. Um, it will be launching with a big update, a content update uh, that's also going to include an Xbox One X uh, patch for HDR and 4K support for No Man's Sky. Um, I'm, I'm vaguely curious. Um, 
I don't know if I'm going to want to take a dive on this. Um, if and if I it's think the price, I'll... yeah, if it's the price I paid for it on the PlayStation, then I'd buy it, which was a tenner. Um, I wouldn't want to pay any more. But it would be nice to play this game without the rendering and stutter problems what the PlayStation has, because the game is huge. And I think that's why it struggles a bit on the base PS4. I think the Pro might be better, but... Yeah, it's a good game. I enjoyed it. Uh, the bit of time I had on it. Uh, obviously, I bought it when after the the last big update. Um, but now there's another new big update coming. Uh, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It's basically exploring. Do we know when this is coming? Did, did they give an actual date? I didn't see a date in the news. Uh, the news story we I'd had. Say, it's probably like a year. Is it like after and the original said, came out? It said coming soon. So well, well, I like, mean well, that... uh, when did the original come out? Like June, like last year or something. That was like know. a year. Over a year ago, yeah, a- I'd I'd imagine like the, the 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 exclusive exclusivity they had with PlayStation was a twelve month thing, and like, this would probably come out. I think it was E three week. I'm sure that's. No, uh, you're not. right. I believe you are correct, Mike. Yes. So I reckon it's like a twelve month thing. So it'll probably come out about the same time. They need oh. to make money from it. <laughs> they do need to make money from it. Hopefully mm-hmm. they will. Hopefully it is improved and and it it delivers more on the promises that uh, they were trying to give people. Um, uh, any of you guys, I know, Mark, you said you had some quasi-interest. Uh, yeah. Mike, Jim? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. I, I, I've got a feeling that this will be free for one of these months, and then mm-hmm. that's probably when I'll try it. I doubt I would part money for it. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, we shall see, I guess. Time will tell. Mm. Uh, all right, uh, some PUBG news. Uh, what? Yes. Hello. PUBG news. <laughs> Present. Uh, they're now going to be starting the uh, the tiny savage map yes. on the PC test uh, beta server uh, next week. Yes. Uh, so this is uh, this is their new four by four uh, kilometer map. So basically, it's a maps are eight by eight. So eight by eight. So yeah, it's half the size of the other maps. There you go. And uh, and it basically is uh, just going to trying to add a faster pace to it. I think this is in direct response to the success Fortnite has had because its gameplay and its its pacing is is much faster, and it's also a smaller island as well. Um, uh, I, th- I think this is good because people didn't like the desert map, you know. Right, uh, and, Miramar and, and, have been criticized. Yeah, it's 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 not a great map. I don't like it myself, but I think you know. I'm not sure what it is. It's whether maybe you can't. You feel very exposed on the map. It's well, know, that it's was not... that was the big the big knock on Miramar. Is it's it, it's desert, so you've got you know the golden sand everywhere. There's not a lot of cover on the no. map except for certain towns. There certainly was a lot of cover there, but you know when you're running along, you are very exposed, uh, and and even trees didn't really help disguise you because you stood out against that desert background so much that it made it yeah. very easy to uh, to see somebody running in the distance. I think the original map is just uh, just a bit more appealing anyway. It's a little bit more, you know, I don't know, just just a little bit more sort of grounded, I suppose, than the desert map. Um, I know it's greenery, it's nicer, <laughs> you know, but. Uh, I, I love the fact that they've made it smaller. I think I think it's a step in the right direction. That's this, you know, it's it's changing the game in a way that doesn't drastically change it that much. You know, you still get the same PUBG, uh, but it's faster and it's basically like jumping into Pachinki every time. There, yeah. uh, I, I've, I've been really interested in in knowing what this is going to be like. I'm I'm curious. So, yeah, looking forward to it. So with with the good news comes some potentially bad news, uh, and and I guess this depends on upon how you look at this, but. Uh, PUBG is now going to potentially consider region locking. They're going to be testing this out. Um, uh, basically, uh, came out of uh, let's see. Uh, Brendan Green previously had, of course, promised uh, that he was not going to do any kind of uh, region locking. Uh, but basically, uh, a recent update on Steam uh, basically said that um, the operating servers that only players residing in, inside that region can connect and play. And it aims to provide a better gameplay experience as it will improve network issues and help with linguistic barriers. So my hope on this is that they're just going to region lock China. <laughs> just region yeah. lock China. Um, because honestly, if they region lock Europe and, and America, then that's going to prevent me from being able to play with the UK yes. friends that we I have. I think that I don't think they're going to do that. I you hope know, they, they don't. 
they know for a fact that people are, across the world, not just England and not, not Britain and America, but like all over the place. But you know, I, I, linguistic problems isn't a valid excuse because in Europe, you can connect to a Euro server. I can't speak French or German or you know uh, miscellaneous languages that I, I just forgot. You know, right. and like <laughs> there's loads of languages in Europe, so it can't be language regions. That's ridiculous. It's there's, yep. there's 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 an ulterior motive, and it's probably you're probably right. Greg. It's China, and it probably won't make much of a difference. Yeah. yeah. If people uh, want to hack uh, it, they'll hack it. It doesn't. That's make, true. That is very true. It doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, some Fortnite news. Uh, Fortnite wants to put dance in the game. Uh, so uh, the free-to-play battle royale has become a cultural sensation. Obviously, we know this. We see a wide range of of celebrities are now playing. Uh, you know, the game. Uh, we've seen a lot of professional sports players uh, that are actually now um, mimicking the game's weird dances in real life. Uh, and so they're considering uh, basically a contest for players to submit a video of their smooth moves. Uh, and, and the best one would be making it into Fortnite as a dance move for, for characters to emote. Oh, yeah. uh, and that contest is going to go on until April 10th at uh, basically 11.59 p.m. on April 10th. Um, it doesn't say if it's Pacific or Eastern or wherever. So yeah, good luck. Uh, Mike, get your dance moves in. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've got many of them. I, I've seen Mike dance on uh, on stage on uh, EGX. Thank you very Down much. London, yeah. yeah. Uh, when, uh, 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 what was it? Dance what, Central, wasn't it? Yeah. Dance yeah. Central. Out of, yeah. out of a score of ten, what would you rate him? Not point three. Oh, ow, ow. Sony is cutting the price on PSVR bundles. Uh, Sony announced it's going to knock a massive chunk off of the price of its uh, console-powered VR headsets. Uh, the new starting price for the PlayStation VR will be two ninety nine in the U.S., two uh, two ninety nine uh, in Europe, and two fifty nine in the U.K. And if you're over in Japan, it's thirty four thousand nine hundred and eighty yen, uh, and that's basically down from three hundred ninety nine, uh, more or less across the board. Or if you're in Europe, three forty nine. Um, don't really care about the Japanese yen at this point. So uh, yeah, it's it's basically giving a nice price cut to the package, and um, uh, the Doom VFR package, uh, I guess, that was originally there was 400 So, I, I don't know. It, it, it's about 50 bucks or 100 bucks. I guess it's really 100 bucks off the price tag. Um, anybody excited for VR? No. The only game no. I play in VR really is Elite Dangerous, but it's too expensive for one game for me. Um, super hot. I'd love to play in VR, but, again, it's, it's a lot of money just to play that game. Um I've heard yeah, a lot of bad things about Doom VFR. I've heard it's not very good. Mm. Well, yeah, I, I think the biggest challenge with VR still to this day is there just aren't that many actual games. They're still calling them experiences. They're still smaller chunks. And I, and I think that carries a, a bit of a ne- negative connotation with it. Um, but I know a lot of people are real pro VR. I'd be really curious to see what the listeners, uh, you know, have to say about that. I mean, if you have thoughts on VR, by all means, chime in, uh, whether it be in the chat or, um, you know, send us a tweet or send us an email and give us your thoughts on VR. But um, I know as we get older, our lives get more complicated, and VR definitely seems like something that is a little more challenging, and at least in my life, to bring in and think I could just escape into VR for an hour or two. And not um, not neglect uh, family, uh, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, it's just mm-hmm. not going to happen in my life. Um, I, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't just lock everybody out of my life for that that period of, period of time. Although I guess I do for the podcast. So huh. yeah, uh, uh, my my problem with VR is that it, it it basically sticks you to the spot. And 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 the only games that do, sort of do well is games where you're standing still. And there are games that do the, the holographic jump, you know. I, th- I right. think Skyrim does that, and lots of other games. And I don't think that leads Resident to a very Evil, though. Resident Evil managed to do it well. Yeah, and, uh, there are exceptions, and, yeah. and I think, but like Resident Evil isn't a VR game; it's a game and a VR game. You know what I mean? It was made, and then VR was put onto it. Whereas you know these these VR games, there's no, you know I could play Resident Evil without a VR. You know, and, and people could argue, yeah, but it's you know it's so much more immersive. But like, 
you know, that ain't worth the money, is it? That ain't going to be worth just just like, oh, I can lean around the corner. Great. That's all my right. money gone for that. Uh, yeah, I, a lot of the game, a lot of VR games, you stuck to the spot. It's a it's a shooting gallery, or it's a it's an RTS where you're placing things and you're god, and and I can't really see beyond that. Well, the only yeah, there's I think there's two games that I really want to play in VR, and that was Super Hot, and the other one was the Drunken Bar Fight game where you get to smash people up. I think that's the only other game that I want to play. And if you haven't heard what the game is, YouTube it. It's hilarious. You get to basically you're in a party, uh, and you just get to punch people in the face. And throw and pick them up and throw them off a balcony and stuff like a drunken bar fight. It's great, brilliant. Trust me, trust me. Right, mm-hmm. you the you, out of the, all of us, you are the biggest drinker. So I, I get that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, all right, uh, but Mike, mm. uh, actually, it's a good thing you are on the show first and last time. Uh, let's talk about the VG Hub meetup at the arcade oh, yeah. club. So. Uh, and I'm not just saying this because I'm on the show, but it, it is it is ten years since me and Stu started podcasting together. Yeah. Uh, and it's 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 uh, oh my god, is this what what video is this? This is my video, is it? Mark? This is the arcade club. Um, this is uh, a link, Robin. Uh, this is someone who's oh. been to the arcade. No, it's not one you've done. This is someone no. who's been and uh, done a, a video on it. This is a new like. one in the new warehouse. <laughs> In the new areas, yeah. yes. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, yeah, the video, the video that I make will be a little bit better than this one. But uh, yeah, you got the idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it won't come the, out yeah, until two years later. We, yes, that's true. <laughs> uh, on the twenty first of April, uh, we, we, we we've decided to get together ten years of podcasting to, with each other, and uh, we thought, why not? And and the arcade club seems to look like a great place. So it's in Bury, uh, just above. Uh, Manchester, just below Rams Bottom, lol. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get together. There's people coming. There's bongos coming. Mark, you're down. That's yep, correct. Your yep. son, your son is coming. My brother's yep. coming. Uh, Sumu is coming. Um, I'm just gonna call people out. I, I think Step Chain's <coughs> making it. He is now. Uh, you know, so there's gonna be Antonio has made a. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's got a long his, drive. Uh, yeah. He's got his Guitar Hero on. And he actually, I was playing, I was streaming PUBG today, and he says, wouldn't it be good if you could play PUBG in front of an audience? And I went, that would be the worst. (laughs) Like, stop. (laughs) Uh, Don't you dare. Uh, But he says, oh, that'd be great. So, yeah, it should be a good time. Uh, And it's the 21st of April, and everybody's welcome. It's £15 entry for two floors and £5. One of the floors is for 18 plus. Like It's like basically the violent games. Uh, you can bring your kids. They're £5 entry. Uh, we're not, you know, it, it's just the entry fee. We're not We're not getting any money from it. Uh, just turn up. Uh, you, you, and people have been emailing us saying, am I too old? Which is a question that I didn't think we'd get. Uh, no. We're asking that question. You're never too old. Unless you're great. You're not no, because Bongo is <laughs> coming. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's, it's you, you're not too old. Don't be silly. Uh, it's it's absolutely fine. You can bring your your, your child. You can bring your your brother. You can bring your weird neighbour. Uh, whatever you want to bring, and uh, and, and wait, all wait, are welcome. Is, is there is there a too young? Uh, I probably a baby would be too young. Uh, Fair but you know, you could probably pass the baby around, just get some childcare, and you enjoy right. yourself and. And hopefully you get the baby back. But no, you know, it's it's just a it's a good time. Um, and uh, we had a good time last time. We did it about two years ago when they was in a smaller venue. We're also having a meal afterwards as well. Nothing massively planned there. I think there's a Frankie and Benny's or a, uh, a Pizza Express mark nearby. So that probably I'll have to do. Um, but that's OK, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's just a chance for us to get together and... Um, and and play some video games and i think Stu and bongo are doing some competitions and the yeah. i think donkey kong's there and whoever can get the high school gets something so there's a few things going on but mainly come along chat with everyone meet some people that you that you've heard the voices for for years and meet some people that you've never known and, and you've all got something in common and it's a good time wouldn't you agree marcus Absolutely, yeah. I, I missed yeah. the last time you went to the arcade club. I know I'm, you did. You really planned to come, but you've, you've been to other things. Yeah, EGX, EGX, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, it's, 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 I it's still think fun. Robin needs to bring the sumo suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. We, we might be bringing some beef jerky. <laughs> yep, bring some beef. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Yeah, that's it. Let's, let's do some trivia. 
Ooh. The Overseas Connection presents the world famous, well, okay, not so famous, audio quiz. Right, I've got an Easter special for you uh, for this Ooh, week's audio quiz. Uh, an Easter surprise. And the surprise is it's nothing to do with Easter. <laughs> Um, Shocker. Nice. Right. Oh, I've just remembered where I got the idea from, Greg. It was um, the meetup at the arcade club what gave me this inspiration. So I've got six sound clips from our classic arcade games from the 20th century. So your 80s and your 90s machines. Oh, shit. <laughs> Boy. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to play each one, and it's for all of you. And the first one to shout your name to give me the answer gets a Can play. I use my bell? Yes, you can, Mike. Yes. And yes. And if you get it wrong, you're frozen out, and the other two can have a guess. Okay. And All then right. I have a bonus point uh, afterwards. Yes. Real, real quickly, yeah. point of clarification. If he buzzes in, like, right away, do you yeah. just stop the clip at that point? Yes. Okay, so you don't get to continue to play no, the clip, so no. be wary of yeah. early buzzing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Whatever, yeah. Greg. Whatever, Mike. <laughs> so these are Children. proper cabinet arcade games. They may have console versions, they may not, um, but these are from the 80s and 90s. So, your first sound clip is... The looking puzzled. Does anybody in the chat know? Sure, this is played at arcades. Right. You must have gone in the arcades when you were younger, Greg. When he was 18. I, I, yeah, no, I <laughs> did, but. Um. Yes, Mike. Is it on? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, but I'm going to guess. All right. Come on. Okay. I'm going to say Bubble Bobble. <gasps> Oh, my correct Mundo didn't work. Hang on a minute. That's because I've paused the other one. Mike, you're right. <laughs> yes, it is wow. Bubble Bubble. Well done, Mike. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I played that on the Amiga, so that maybe, yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. Never right. played that. Bonus point, Mike. What year did that come to the arcades? Oh, my God. Can we steal the bonus point? Mm <laughs> hmm. Yeah, okay. okay, we'll see. I'm Mike gets first say... goal because he, he got three. Goal. <laughs> 88. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Not quite, no. No, okay. Greg or Kim, anyone want to have a guess of it? Uh, I'm going to say 1992. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on Kim? your soul. Kim? I think it was close to 88, Greg, so... <laughs> No, I have no idea. It was 1986. Yeah. Oh. 1986 was the year. The year I left school. Wow. I was one, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I know you were. <laughs> Feel old now. Right, okay. <laughs> you ready for your second sound clip? Yeah, I think so. This might be a bit easier. That's it. Oh. It's Greg. Mike, I, I, Mike presses. I dinged. I yeah. dinged. I don't know. Yes. Is it Castlevania? That's not even an arcade game. Oh, God. Hang on. I award you no points. <laughs> no. And may God oh, when I said it, I went, oh, not even an arcade game. Can't right, listen you've there. frozen out, Mike. So. I said, yep. I don't Greg. Know. Greg. 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 Yep. Ghouls and goblins? I Fuck it is. No points. Oh no, it's no. no. On your soul. Mm. I was sure that was right, Craig. I don't know how to keep it on with this. I don't want to give Kim a clue because she's way out in the lead. It's okay. I don't know what it is. So let it yeah. play. Oh, what is it? Right. So I will. You won't get a point for this, Kim, but the clue is you use a physical gun. Plastic gun. Oh. No, I don't have a clue. House of the Dead 2. 
Oh, wow. Oh, oh okay, oh, gotcha. Yeah. We have the all the monsters and zombies coming at you, and you had the guns. Yeah, yeah. Um, I vaguely remember that. But I don't think I ever played it. Just, I'm just going to put this out there right now. I'm going to fail at this miserably. Well, they do get, right. they get easier as they go along. Well, I the only arcade games, games that I played games. were Street yeah, Fighter and Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, I was very <laughs> limited in the arcade. So, so um, this is open you know. to anyone. First one to guess, uh, what year did House of Dead Two come to the arcades? Ninety two. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. You smug you are, Mark. <laughs> Sorry? 1994. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on Kevin, your soul. Kevin, did you fancy a stab at this? I'm going to go with 90. What the hell? I award You're you all no too points, early. And may God have mercy. It was 1998. Wow. Uh, yeah. The first one it is 3D, been, uh, isn't it? Yeah. It is 3D, yeah. It's, it's House of the Dead 2, remember? Yeah, 98. Wow. Yeah. Hell. yeah. Bloody hell, right. Mark. Fingers on my buzzers. This is your third sound clip. <laughs> if you get this wrong, Mike, you're in trouble. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's really scared me. Oh. I was just going to take a guess. Go on. Why? Is it Mortal Kombat? Which one? One. I award you no points. It's no. two! It's two! You're frozen out. Kim, Greg, anyone want to take a guess? Greg. Greg. Mortal Kombat 2. The Wreck the Mundo. Yeah, see, so Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> Is so, it the pit level? Is that the pit level? I don't know. I just got it off YouTube. It said main main theme um, so Greg got that one he gets first stab at the bonus point what year did that one come he, out oh does he mark yeah. well, <laughs> I better add his point uh, right Mortal Kombat 2 in the arcades not I'm going to say yeah arcades sure sorry I'm getting another daiquiri <laughs> um, drunkard <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna say 1995. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Anyone want to take a guess? 93. Oh. All right. Well, Kim is. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your Mike soul. I might guess. The Mundo. It was 1993. Well done, Mike. Yeah, 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 redeem redeem myself. Yeah. Right. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm doing something so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's just coincidence what that like, you mentioned both of these Da da Street Fighter Two. Da 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 <laughs> uh, 92 I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul 1993 I award you no points and may God have mercy 94 oh Kim I award you sit no down and may God have mercy. <laughs> yes, 90, the 91 91 <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> all right the second to last one uh, and this is one of my all-time favourite arcade games, so if you know me well, you'll know what this is. But I don't think I've ever told you guys, so you fucked. Here we go. <laughs> well, thanks! Oh my god, I know what this is, oh, but Greg, I don't know what I love this Greg, game. Greg. Go on, Greg. Spy Hunter. Yes! I yeah. love that game. Yeah. That was the one I knew! Yeah. No figure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Greg, what year was that out? Yeah, oh, Greg. that? Yeah. I'm going to say 1990. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your nope. soul. Mm -hmm. So, we have a two. 92? Ooh. I award you no points. I played this as a young God kid. Mercy on your soul. So, I played it on the Nintendo, so that's yeah. how far ago that was. Well, it was a Spy Hunter 2, wasn't it? On the, on the PlayStation 2 and that. Oh, Any ideas, I, I, Mike? I, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've no, no, uh, I guess for no points. 89. Ooh, no. I award you it's no older than you, Mike. And may God have mercy. 1983. Oh, 83. Oh, okay. yeah. right. 
Um, the last one, which I think is the easiest sound clip, so get your fingers on your buzzers. Right. I'm not hearing much. You're not hearing it? Let me turn it up I a bit. It started it. It started, Let but we can't try. hear it. Right, I'll try again. Pizza power! Then it goes off. It goes yeah. extra power, then it goes off. Oh. I thought this would have been the easiest one. The same pizza no, power. It's, it's, it, the audio is not coming through. That's the problem. Is it not? Well, no, it's, did, it's, it's it's breaking up on us. So yeah. we're only yeah. hearing part of it. We hear the very beginning, and then it totally like gets jerked. Like we get the gist of it, though. I right. think it's like some sort of. Is it better if I lower it? No. Hmm. No. But I can guess. Go on, man. Have a guess. Is it? Teenage Ninja Turtles? Which one? Um, In Time. Yeah, Turtles in Time. The Rex Amundo. <sighs> well, so well from Nasty Throwdown. Yes, in the chat, Nasty <laughs> Throwdown is the one that helped Kim out with that one. <laughs> oh, and, really? And what year, Kim, what, what year was this out? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Um, Smart Alec. 92? <gasps> I award you no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. I got that one. I, I didn't even look. So I don't know. Turtles in time. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 94. I award you no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. Any ideas, Mike? What, what did Kim say? 92. 92. 91. It is 1991. Well, it was a guess. It was a guess. Yeah. Yep. So Mike has more points than Nicole and Fraser, and leveled with Phil in one evening. <laughs> well done. Bam. Although, in fairness, you did offer up more points yeah, in one yeah, evening than was, you offered before. Yeah, Semantics, points. correct. Semantics. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. there's 10 points up for, up for grabs. Oh, so. listen to that smack. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Kim's hey, in the lead with 13 points. Take, go. yeah. Greg, you've gone up. You've gone up to second place with six points. Phil and Mike in joint third. Oh, no. Robin has got seven points, sorry, he's in second. Greg's in third with six. And Phil and Mike with four points. And, for, and Nicole, probably, nice. with one. I, I'm probably never going to get more than four, so I think... <laughs> <laughs> Unless you um, sacrifice going on the veteran games and come back on here. It's probably, <laughs> probably possible, to be honest. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let us uh, move on. Mark, well done with the quiz. As yeah. always, brilliant. Enjoy that. Um, don't ever do that again, though. By the way, uh, get off. Your <laughs> It'll be back games. to normal next week. I just want to do. I was, I was, different. I was really looking forward, Mark, to like, oh, he's going to go through my games. And he's <laughs> right. going to like pick games, and I was like, oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope. Uh, all right, Kim. Uh, I know the list of games coming out this week is huge, so can we dive into this because uh, it's going to take a while. Just a little bit. Yes, our new releases for March 30 through, 31st through April 6th are Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire for the PC on April 3rd. Hopefully that comes to the consoles as well. So, anyway. I'm sure it will. And I'm that's our new releases. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. Many, is it? Huge, huge list. Huge. Big list. Massive, I'm telling you. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we can go on to uh, Victories Achieved. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you're not hip to knowing what Victories Achieved is, this basically is a contest we run every quarter. Uh, more or less, you finish a game. We want you to take a picture with your cell phone of your face and the game behind you. Um, ideally, uh, something fun, something hip, strike a pose. And uh, anyway, send that off to our Twitter, at uh, OC underscore podcast. Put in the hashtag Victory Achieved and, uh, and let us know what game, of course, you beat. Because uh, it's not always clear when we're looking at a list of credits. Um, but yeah, that will get you entered into a contest. And the best part about this contest, it costs you nothing other than beating games to potentially win 20 bucks 
uh, on PSN, Xbox Live, or Steam. Uh, and of course, if you're over in the UK, we do the conversion for you. Just subtract subtract five. It's simple <laughs> math. Uh, Fifteen pounds to you over in the UK, and you can spend on whatever game you want. Uh, so that said, uh, this last quarter uh, we have picked a winner, and that is uh, uh, Infected Psych. Uh, he won by completing the game Monster Hunter World, nice. and he did that on the 18th of February. Oh, sorry, I've never... 21st of February. I've never won. I've never won that picture. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Yeah. Robin throws your good name news, out Mike. the hat every time you enter. The, the good news, Mike, is now that you're no longer part of the podcast <laughs> team, yeah, first now, last yeah. show, you're now qualified to, to potentially yeah. win. Yeah. yeah. Great. All right. Uh, hey, but listen, there are other other people did complete more games, and Ooh. they are in in the running for I believe the the uh, is it the next? No, this is the last uh, last entries for this quarter. So basically, all these people are losers. Uh, we've got uh, Marcanix completed Assassin's Creed yeah, Origins. Loser. I rest my case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, do not TQ finished Prey. Uh, Gunslinger X 1983 finished Trials of the Blood Dragon. Uh, apparently, the real Defoe finished Murphy's Law. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. John Mouse finished Painkiller, Hell, and Damnation. Wow. Uh, Danok TQ also finished The Evil Within. Yeah. Uh, Martin C 1984 finished Walking Dead Season 1. Ooh. My all time favorite Telltale game. Yeah. Uh, John Mouse finished A Way Out. Uh, so Good, he well done, well done, well done. But he's John. on the PlayStation though, so it might work and, on that. And, and John's getting married a week before me yeah, at the same, same venue, place. Yeah, yeah. At the same yeah. place. What a one-upper. What get a one-upper. It. So you beat the way out before me, you get married before me. What else? What else, John? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Miyagi, 1984, finished Assassin's Creed Revelations and Terrible. rounding it out. Terrible, Terrible game. Our new listener, Bobbins, finished Wolfenstein... The New Colossus. Mm, that's a good game. That is a good game. Four beans. Uh, so well done to everybody who just finished a game and got that victory achieved. And for that, you are rewarded with this to last in your ears for years to come. You all have a victory's achieved. Victory's achieved. You have one. Victory's achieved. It, it's very uncomfortable, that sound clip. <laughs> I just passed a kidney stone during that uh, mm. Cool. <laughs> just an uncomfortable sound. No one enjoys it. Not you, Greg. <laughs> we don't. Martin in the chat does. He loves that bit. It's his favorite Martin bit of the show. It's his favorite thing. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, let's let's wrap things up here. Uh, let's put a bow on this podcast. Uh, if you want to be part of the conversation, we do broadcast weekly. Uh, it will be on twitch.tv forward slash OC podcast, mixer.com forward slash OC podcast. And of course, you can find us on YouTube forward uh, so youtube.com forward slash overseas connection podcast, all one giant word. Uh, it is at 9 p.m. in the UK. Uh, three, uh, actually, no, we got to update this. It's no longer, it's going to be 1 p.m. on the West Coast. Um, I thought I had updated it. Well, I updated the no, top part. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Anyway, figure it out. But it's on Sundays. The most important thing is, moving forward, we are going to be live on Sundays. Um, you know, if you used to watch other podcasts during that time slot, sacrifice them. They, they have replays of their podcasts. You can watch it later. Uh, we are on iTunes, Stitcher, and, and YouTube, all of those places. Give us a review. We would love to hear from you. Uh, and, of course, we have lots of clubs because everybody loves a club. Uh, we've got clubs up the wazoo. Uh, on Xbox One, we have the OC Podcast Club. We have the OC Podcast Community on PS4. We have OC Podcast Group on Steam. And, of course, we would never be without a Discord group. We have the OC Podcast server on Discord. So join up. Yep, it is the future. Hang out. Check it out. And um, also, listen to this. You like us. We like you. See where I'm going with this? Follow us on Twitter. At OC underscore podcast. Check us out on Facebook, fb.ocpod.com, or email us, podcast at ocpod.com. We'd love to hear from you. Hold on. And hey, I know we had. Some- <laughs> 
brilliant. <laughs> I know we had some questions. Uh, yes, oh, starting God. next week. So uh, starting officially on uh, – I've got to get to the right month now. It will be April 8th is when our first Sunday show will start. Uh, and and in terms of play dates, the play dates will not be changing. We'll still have those on Sundays. It'll just be before the podcast. Uh, so it'll be fresh in our minds, and we'll be able to talk about all of that as we uh, as we move forward. So that is it. Let's do some shout-outs. Uh, Kim, why don't you start us out? All righty. I'm going to shout out our uh, shatters, and we've had a few in there tonight. We have Electrical Skateboard, Baron Funflower, <laughs> Martin, RCGC. Hello, Sarah. Uh, Corazon, Hexaralius, Electric Maestro, and Nasty Throwdown, who I give half a point to because I cheated during the quiz. And thank you for giving me the answer. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for coming along. You know, you guys are always fun. And that's why we're, we're doing this. It's for you guys. So, um, you know, I also want to shout out you guys because, you know, you're always fun. And, um, yeah, Mother Nature, you cow. Quit with the snow already, for God's sake. I want to break out the shorts. Let's get this over with. Anyway, you will find me on Twitter and the Xbox and the PlayStation 4 at GamerGirl27 or the various things that it is. I won't go into that here. And uh, how about you there, Mark? Uh, yeah, you can get me at Mark Annex on Twitter and I'm Mark Annex on all the gaming platforms. I want to shout out Mike for coming on tonight. It's been a while since the podcast with you and it's been a pleasure. Indeed. Always fun. Um, I want to shout out all the shatters tonight. We've had quite a few in there. A couple from YouTube as well popped in. Um, mainly uh, Nasty Throwdown. So it was good to see more people than just on the Twitches. Uh, and a big shout out to The Commander on Twitch. Now, The Commander used to be called, I think, Commander McHugh. And he was originally a streamer who streamed Elite Dangerous a lot. When I used to love Elite Dangerous, I used to watch him a lot. Now he plays a lot of games, and he's done a Sea of Thieves rap song to the theme music. So after the podcast, um, I will play that. Uh, I have his permission to play it. Uh, so enjoy the Sea of Thieves rap song by The Commander. Um, how about you, Mike? Um, well, I want to shout out you guys for uh, letting me come on the show. It really does mean a lot. And and all joking aside, I do think that, you know, your show <laughs> is the best. Turn this camera off. Uh, uh, of all, of all, you know, and, and, and I don't mind that you've moved it at all, really. It's it's fine. And I wouldn't try and promote my show no, by, hold, no. by holding up a sign on my phone. No. Um, thank you very much for, for getting me on. I, and, and, and uh, yes, I still listen. I, and, and I feel like I'm still part of the show, even though... I don't get let on anymore, and uh, you purposely move it to avoid me. Uh, it's fine. It's fine that it that it clashes with our show. It's not a big problem at all. And it's just like you know. Uh, no, thanks to to all all the gang at Overseas Connection. Make sure you keep keep it going. Uh, and uh, someone's tickling Kim, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, just just keep it going. It's a good show. I love it, and uh, and, and I don't know what I'd do without it. I'll probably carry on to be. I'll probably fine to be honest. Uh, but it's a good show, and and I like what you've done with it. I like the rotating hosts, uh, and it's and it's all good. Shout out to Bongo who's been helping out with the um with the with the meetup, which is on the twenty first of April in Bury. If you want to find out, we've got a Facebook page. If you go to veterangamers.co.uk, you can find out more stuff there. Uh, and also people that watch me on stream. Quite a few people have been supporting me on my PUBG journey, um, even though I've still got the solo to go on the pc most people are very nice uh, and i've been working on some youtube videos as well so people have been uh been been good to watch those and big them up but yeah thank you very much for for everyone for listening and uh well this is probably going to be my last overseas connection probably not because sometimes we do record it on a different day very rare but sometimes we do right. so maybe i'll join it on them but um yes so thank you very much greg uh and, and best of luck to migrating the show to a sunday may the war begin um right and beef. uh yeah beef. mad food mad boob uh so thank you very much greg it's over to you oh well uh mike thank you for making the show first and last time uh really appreciate it uh no in all sincerity i really do appreciate you making the show fuck you and uh <laughs> enjoy the rest of your night mm -hmm. uh listeners thank you everybody in the chat uh love having the participation of of the community and uh, we will continue that forward. We always want to make sure you guys are first and foremost in our hearts. That's why we put the chat literally in the middle of our podcast uh, page. We want to make sure the community is all part of everything. Um, 
shout out to the other two on the podcast right now, Kim and Mark. Uh, thank you both for making the show. Um, I'm sorry I brought Mike on now, but you know, <laughs> it's it's all good. Now, I love you guys all. Uh, shout out to Gary D. Felice. Uh, we actually met up in New York. I, I glossed right over this. I didn't even talk about it, I think. But uh, mm-hmm. no, Gary and I actually were able to meet up in New York. He did not come up with the excuse of I have a toothache and I, I have to go to the dentist right. this time. <laughs> his teeth were fine. Um, Gary actually not short and squat like I thought he was going to be. For some reason, I had a mental picture of Gary being a very short, squat, bald man. Uh, <laughs> turns out he is not short and squat. And, uh, you know, that's all good. Um, no, we had a really nice lunch, uh, hung out together for a little while. And then uh, he said, I am sick of you and I'm going to leave. So he left and I went about my way. Um, but, yeah, shout out to Gary. Uh, what else? Uh, shout out to Robin, Phil. Phil, so glad your TV experience is finally oh, ending. the right awesome. drama, wasn't it? Right. I'm hoping uh, he's yes. going to be on next week to, to tell us all What's about What's happened? That. What's, oh, is he just – I'll wait. I don't, I don't read group chats. <laughs> There's yeah. There's yeah, there's. He's had a, a right a, saga of getting a new TV. Of, oh, I, yeah. I really, I'm, I was really pleased. I was really pleased when Phil joined the crew. Uh, yeah. I, I like Phil. He's got a he's got a nice voice yeah, in a, a non creepy voice. Voice. Just kind of sometimes I just listen to reruns of the Virtual Pizza on my own and yeah. just listen to him just flicking on a light switch on and off. <laughs> <laughs> So, Would it be funny? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh God. Uh, not since the operation, Mark. Come on. So, uh, the, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny. I have a framed picture of the veteran gamers cross stitch here. Wouldn't it be funny if I planned it and sent a copy to Mark and looked like I passed it to him on the video, and yeah. then he would just grab it from the top. That would be great. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, so much first and last show. Thanks, yeah. Mike. Thanks. Uh, anyway. Uh, look. You want to come to the Veteran Gamers? You get free <laughs> tenors. Look, there's one. There's one. Uh, you should support that that event. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Mike, well, before it actually happens, congratulations. Ten years. It's nothing to sneeze at. No. Um, it, it, you guys have been podcasting for a long time, so See super excited. Money the Veteran Gamers will make. Really? Sorry. Yeah, you're saying nice things. No, you're, you're Monopoly money up on the screen. It's ridiculous. Um, it's real. Anyway. It's real. It's real. <laughs> All right. I hate them new uh, notes. They, they, they fall out of your pocket so easy because they're so shiny and smooth. Yeah. No, you take your phone out of your pocket. This is real talk yeah. now, Greg. You take yeah. your phone out of your pocket and because they're plastic notes, they just <laughs> fall out. I, I went to the petrol station terrible. the other day on the way to work. I got out of the car um, and then I filled up with petrol and then went to go in my pocket. No freaking money. I looked on the floor and there were two ten pound notes on the floor. Luckily, they didn't blow away. Uh, but yeah, nearly don't lost you me. Have what? Don't you put your money in a wallet? Wallet? No. Nah. Not when you got work. No. Nah. Most what? people do. Nah. I don't know why. I, well, it's I don't not like, a British thing. I don't like it's these new notes in wallets neither because they f- fly out of there. No, it's just a coincidence that it's not both me and Mark use... don't put it in a wallet. Yeah. That's not a British thing. Most yeah. people do. And, and it's not often I use cash anyway. So. Right. Mike, are you done with your shameless plug? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest. Oh, no, someone someone yeah. asked him, Baron Von Glor asked him about his mug. Yeah, I got, I got, we got right. sent Which he hasn't mugs. sent to Stu and Duke yet. Correct. They're <laughs> sitting right next to me. <laughs> I haven't done anything about it. Well done. Uh, all right, let's let's wrap this up. Let's close this out. My, uh, Mark, you've got music to play, yeah. a rap song, I believe. Everybody, thank you for listening once again. Really thank appreciate you. it. Uh, tune in next Sunday. Remember, 9 p.m. in the UK, 1 p.m. on the West Coast. And honestly, let's face it, it's going to be 8.58 in the UK, and it'll be 12.58 on the West Coast. And uh, anywhere else in between, just two minutes earlier than the Veteran Gamers podcast because we yeah. know how to do it right. Yeah, that's true. Don't go yeah. to us. We, ours is terrible. It's a terrible show. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, play the uh, Sea of Thieves song. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. It's going to happen any moment, people. Is it playing, or do we pretend that you we're hearing You guys will hear it. Epic oh. fail. What oh, great song this is. This is brilliant. Are we muted? Oh, we're just talking over all kinds I'll, of shit. I'll edit this in anyway. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm about to put it on for you. Can you hear it now? Yeah.
No. I heard something. Didn't it die? Didn't it die? I don't know what's going on. I thought. We'll be great. We'll be pretty great. Me and you have an exchange now. We'll be violent to each other. And Mark just adds it in like we're really mean. Fuck you. I'm really just the song. I don't know. Mark, you're really confusing me. Ahoy, matey. You're not saying anything, Mark. It's more confusing when you don't talk. I don't want to talk, is it? Oh, is it quite playing? It's playing, yeah. It's got it's on the PC. Right. Yeah, so we thought this is terrible. Yeah, well, take it with the commander. <laughs> oh, so they they can hear. Yeah, they can hear it. Yeah. They can hear something and us. There you go. It's done. Right, that's it. We're out. Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>